A return back this morning's Invasion Channel streamer and community. Any plans on a Counter Strike to return, given the recent patches and updates? I'm not a Counter Strike player, Doctor Alb. Unless you mean oh. City Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would pay money for that, Paul. <laughs> I want to see you play Counter Strike. Uh, Skylines. I think I'll play it at some point, but at the moment, I've got my eyes on the. Oh, what's it called, pups? I the name again. I literally can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Manor Lords. Manor Lords. It's just annoying me. It just it makes no sense. The name. Every time we have this conversation, you forget the name of the game. Mate, it annoys me as much as it annoys you. <laughs> Manor Lords. So I managed to get in contact with them, thanks to Pups, you found the tweet from the dev or whatever it was, and uh, oh, th it says they're going to send me a key, but they don't know when yet. Nah, not really. I have played Counter-Strike 2005-ish, something like that. Right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Right. <laughs> we good now? I can tell you what yeah, you need yeah. to do. <laughs> Let's go. Right, so it's up to you and Knight whether you want to split all the ones that need to go up towards Bryson. Okay. There's nine carriages. What's the total weight? I don't know because I haven't hooked up to them. Has it got the weights written on them somewhere? Um, it was in Tosh, yeah. PJ Webb, think of a 91. Is that you in track four? Oops. Yeah, because I can't do anything until you move this lot. What, the one, the stuff in track two? Yeah. And that's nine cars worth? Yeah. The last three are all for the hardwood thing at the top, so I could take those, but if not, I'll just do a passenger run. Well, you could, yeah. I don't. What do He's you got a do? long way to go on his passenger run. I was going to say, it's quite a long way to go on that passenger run. Well, do you want to take the three Aplakian hardwoods with you on your passenger run as well? Or do you want me to just take the whole lot? Well, if you think you can take the whole lot, then knock yourself out. I generally don't know, because I don't know what the total weight of the consist is. Yeah, give it a go. And if you can't, then we'll detach the last three and I'll come and get them. Oh, did mm. I tell you I accidentally broke my front door? What? Yeah. Okay. How? Glass, pa the glass panel. No, you didn't mention that. <laughs> it happened yesterday evening. <laughs> I was trying to pass my dad to the broom. <laughs> and I thought, I can't be asked to walk out at the length of the garden to give it to him. I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just I'll slide it across the floor. It was great until it got stuck and then bounced up and broke the panel of glass. Would you describe that as a skill issue? I would describe that as a massive skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is quite I mean, heavy. we needed a new one anyway. But now we even need one faster. <laughs> Consider getting an observation car to put on the end of your PAX train. 20% fare bonus. Must be one of the train's ends at all time, though. Must be at one of the train's ends at all time. How much is Another a PAX one? car? Observation is, that the one we, is that the one we, did, we sold immediately? <laughs> I can't remember. Because you start off with one, and I'm pretty sure we just sold it. Let's have a look. Uh, Atlantic. Observation. Passenger observation car, is that it? Weighs about 45 tons and costs seven... No, hang on. Seven, eight. Yeah, we could get one if we got a grand loan. If I'm just going to do a passenger run, then that's 20% bonus, isn't it? 20%. Hey. How much are we making on packs? It depends. That sounds like it would earn it back in a few days, actually. Because mm, we're going a lot further now. We were doing quite well, but now we're going even further. And that... <laughs> Don't want to purchase this... it, then. Go for it. Okay, ah. I'll get a 1,000 loan. And... It's definitely that one, the Palace Observation. Okay, purchase, it's there for you. Enjoy your observation card. Don't remember uh, to Paul, don't forget to, to put it on the end. It. I can do it necessary. Can I make it pink? Yeah. It needs to be the right colour pink. Do you want to customise it? Yeah, oh Knight's got the code so Knight can do it. Yeah, yeah when I go and get to the other PAX cars, I'll um I'll there we go. Oh, 
That's the AI loading up the logs. I think it's, will it show the 20% bonus as a bonus, or will it just, the price just be bigger? Like when it says your passenger income is $1,000, will it say $1,200, or will it say $1,000 plus 20% bonus of 200? No idea. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say no. Can you hurry up so I can get on with stuff, please? Thank you. <coughs> <laughs> Did I read that this needs to be at the back? It just needs to be at the end, I believe. Uh, put at the end of your patch train. What's the situation of the AI log car? It's coming to load in the logs. Okay. We need to I grind that guy as many times as we can. You sent it while you was uh, unplugging and replugging monitors. The next milestone fade in. Um, well, basically, we need to get some money. We need to get some cash. Um, I think we'd like to get Diesel Loco at some point, but... I don't know. We're, we have to do whatever makes sense, I think. Yeah. You know, it's, it's all about spending money to make money, isn't it? So, what's the purpose of a caboose? What, in real life? It basically sits at the back of a train, and the operator can put the brakes on, and it basically keeps the car's tension between the, the links when under braking, and it acts as a secondary brake as well. Plus, it's an observation point at the back with a light. Big Cash is in captive freights and tear them up, really. Captive freights? What do you mean, captive freight? I think it's basically what we're doing now when I teared everything up to level four of wood. Did, um, did our stuff get up to level four? Some of it has, yes. I keep checking it daily now. Okay. Because for a while we completely forgot about it, didn't we? Mm. And then I, I stumbled across it and was like, maybe I should take a look at these. <laughs> well, the, give, the big gap between playing it doesn't help. Like, oh yeah, I remember we have to level up yeah. industry. What do you mean? We had a big gap between playing. I thought you was a full-time railroad student. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What are you on about? You won't be playing that game you keep forgetting. What game is that again, sorry? What was it called? <laughs> <laughs> Man at Lords. The best bit is it comes out on Paul's birthday and he still forgets what it's called. More. See, the funny thing is, I think this game is based on Unity Engine as well. And so you look at the game I'm playing yesterday, SimRail, and you look at this and you think, why is the frame rate on this not as good as SimRail? As old gamer, thank you for two years. It's been over a year since I caught a stream. Finally made it. Just happened to be two year anniversary. What are the odds? Welcome back, as old gamer. I hope you've got some great stories to tell us about why you've been away for two years. Do you know about that guy who today, that British guy, today finishes running from the entire length of Africa? Oh yes, I've been following him on Twitter. That guy, that's insane. Six, was it 15 or 16,000 kilometers? Like that, yeah. And he's been doing it over a year, and today's his last day. They've, yeah, they've no. had to put up with being robbed, mugged, had stuff like camera taken, money taken. God knows what else on the journey. I had to run at night through the Sahara because it was so hot. Yeah. I just can't even fathom that. Well, apparently, he was... He, like, before he did it, he was... How do you describe himself? He was drinking too much, he was overweight, blah, blah, blah. He wasn't doing anything, he just decided... I suppose it reminds me of... Um, What's it called in uh, in the film Forrest Gump, where he just suddenly like go, he just suddenly goes, "I fancy running," <laughs> and he just runs yeah. and doesn't stop, and then one day suddenly stops. It feels like that. He just decided, you know what? I'm just going to go and do something. 
He's raised £550,000 for charities. It's insane. It is actually insane. I mean, <laughs> Africa, running across, well, not across, running top to bottom Africa. I can't even fathom that. There you go, Dysanator's got the coin. You what? Dysanator's got the quote of what the guy said. There you go, Australia struggled with his mental health gambling and drinking and wanted to make a difference. Well, he's certainly done that. Yeah, you could say you achieved that. My limit's 10k, I couldn't do what he's doing. <laughs> well, he, he was originally, I think, going to run a marathon a day for so many days. And when they got to, was it Angola or somewhere like that? They basically wouldn't let them through for like two days. Yeah. So that delayed everything for two days. So he's like, okay, we can't do that everyday marathon thing now. What else are we going to do? So he's like, sod it. I'll just run all the way to the bottom of Africa. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty mad, though. Oh, yeah. Meant to be 360 marathons in 240 days. That's insane. How can somebody run like that? I can't even run to the shops. <laughs> <laughs> Go in the club. Well, if you look at him now, Audi, he... <laughs> He does look, he looks like, um, oh, remember Tom Hanks in, in that film where he was stuck on an island? What was that called? He was on a tropical island on his own. Oh, I know that I can't think of the name. What was that called? Castaway, thank you. Do you remember at the end of Castaway where he's got like this massive beard because he hasn't shaved? <laughs> he looks like that now, this enormous ginger beard hair everywhere where he's just been running and running and running. I don't know what his Twitter handle is. There you go, Dyson has got Oh that was yeah, he's nicked himself hardest skis, wasn't he? Of course. That's his Twitter handle. I think if, if he goes in a pub and he says, I'm the hardest geezer, and, and people are like, yeah, sure. He's like, yeah, honestly, I'm pretty tough. <laughs> Just bring out his YouTube channel, Dan. Did you do this? I reckon he should have got sponsored by Nike or something. Should have just given him all the running shoes. That would have been fantastic publicity. someone has, but they just haven't done it publicly. But what an achievement. Obviously, firefighter Chris Steam never turns up when I'm driving steam trains. Because he'll come in later and be like, Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I was busy driving real steam trains. Well, like, no, you wasn't. You was driving miniature ones. He's driving fake ones, not miniature ones. Fake. Do you know what? I'm taking these and I actually have no idea where I'm going. Bryson Freight House. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably focus on that, shouldn't I? Bryson Freight House. This is the whole Paul D. Raiden situation uh, uh, all over again. Uh, FR1. Oh, nice, that one. 
Oh, you scumbag. Oh, no they've got to come out as well. Yeah, we're going to have shenanigans up here at Bryson. I have them every day down this end. I think I spend more time changing between reverse and forward than I do anything else. Are you okay? You seem distracted, Aldi. I'm fine, mate. My, my wife, like, I was coming back in the car and I phoned her up and, uh, and she said at the end, she went, are you okay? And I went, yeah, I'm fine. She went, well, you just sound a bit low. And I'm like, I'm just, what? <laughs> and now Audi's like, are you distracted? I feel like I'm being psychotherapied. Like I've gone to the doctor. I'm like, how are you feeling? Tell us about how you're feeling. I'm absolutely fine. Maybe I had too many IPAs last night. I don't know. <laughs> That's why you aim so bad. Uh, hmm. Let me think of the last fight, Sean. <laughs> uh, I said it and instantly regretted opening up that can of worms. <laughs> Wait, what was it all of last week when you couldn't hit a barn door? Was that? Do you remember I, what was I was just carrying you for like three gaming sessions? <laughs> It was just my turn to be Hunt Showdown's punching bag. Mm. I mean, Paul, at least I play with my friends. Where's the other one been? Ignoring uh, you. We're not good enough for him anymore. No, he's got board gaming friends to play with now. Am I going too quick? I may be going too quick. I feel like I'm going too quick. 42 mile now, possibly. And a derail incoming. It's fine. We good. I've heard that before. Uh, so with Freddo, what I did was, I don't know if you oh, can he, see, I bit the top more. off the Freddo. Yeah. And then I ate the Freddos inside, so just got the shell left. That that was my attack on that Freddo. Because I thought so to myself, the problem with these eggs is you get them out, you unwrap them, and then you crack it open, right? And you don't want to eat all of it in one sitting. And I thought, and then you've got this chocolate egg and you're like, where do I put these two halves and stuff? I thought, you know what? What I'll do is I'll take it out. I'll unwrap the top, bite the top off, and then I can get access to the contents and I can eat the rest of the egg later. See, thousand IQ. I worry about you sometimes. I have to say the inside of this observation car looks nice. Have you observed it? Yeah. <laughs> got lights and everything. I don't know how to turn them on, but I got them. I think you just click on them. Sofas and a lot. I have murdered my egg proper. Yeah, headshot is what I called it. I went for the head. Just took the head off the, off the egg. I'm so going to send you a box of Fred, don't you? One thing we do need is another AI logging train at some point. An AI logging train? What, because we're not taking enough now. The trouble with two yeah, is it's going to be hard to coordinate. Well, I'm the one that's coordinating the one, so I can coordinate two. That's why one should be unloading, one should be loading at the other end. Mm. Do you reckon we can have them, like, alternate? I reckon I could get it to alternate, yes. If I keep the close... Because I'm sure one, me... isn't one substantially bigger than the other? Well, we haven't even got one at the moment. No, the sites that we... the two There's like two logging sites, and ultimately um, like one's a lot bigger than the other, I think. I think we're currently using the biggest one. Because we there's, currently have eight cars on it. There's no signals going up there, is there? Is there so they can crash into each other. No, Single track. If something's in the way. They don't that's crash. That's what I mean. So it, it's going to see a train on the line, and it's not going to move. At all. Yeah, but I have the engine roster open permanently, so I can see what the AI is doing. Okay. Like, I, because I, I basically keep an eye on that thing while I'm down here, because it's next to me. I have noticed one thing the game doesn't like me doing, though, is quickly just jumping between the two. It just goes, I don't know what to do. You realise Freddos are like 50 quid each now. Where have you been livering? Where have you been livering? Liver, yeah. 
I don't think I've ever seen a Freddo that's fifty pounds. Fifty percent off at the moment, I think. The egg, if there's still any left. And I know my local shop still sells them for twenty five p. Oh, damn, what hasn't got smaller? Well, everything's got smaller and more expensive, hasn't it? Shrinkflation, they call it. Where is Pup's local shop must be a fake Freddo? Do people know what a Freddo is when they're making these comments? I don't know. Tesco in somewhere started putting Freddos in old DVD security cases. <laughs> what? What Freddos? What kind of what, what kind of area is that? <laughs> Everybody going manic for Freddos. <laughs> I'm just picturing going up to the self service checkout going. Do you mind just getting my Freddo out of the DVD case, please? It's not exactly a high value item, is it? It's a bit of chocolate. Oh my god. Oh, night. How's your uh, biscuits going? Your Ritz. How many you got left? No comment. So that's none. Got it. Wow. Let's just say I may or may not have a box sat next to me. <laughs> we have three more available. And when did you buy them? Eight. Last week. Last time we played. When did we play last? Oh. Monday. So, yeah, I may have got through four boxes. I don't know if that's bad or not. How unhealthy can it be? Exactly. You could always run the length of Africa to, to get around it. Only got... 46 grams of fat. <laughs> per box? Oh, per 100 grams is 23 grams. And it's a 200 gram box. Exactly, Callan. 366 marathons is crazy. That stores have started putting energy drinks behind lock and key. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. You'll be amazed what people steal. Oh, what's the weather like for you guys today? Lovely. Are you going to get are you going to get rain on Monday and Tuesday? A lot of rain on Tuesday, actually. A bit drafty, but otherwise it's sunshine. Well, Storm Kathleen's been blowing through, hasn't it? she? We should name it Storm Pot. Do we know if uh, Hemingway or Alarka Junction has coal and water up there? Water. No idea. Up worse, right? Up 
up at the two new stations that we can go to. Uh... Oh, green. Have you got a coal wagon going anywhere up there? A Larka. Any... Yeah, a Larka Junction is where is my no. last stop. No. I do not. Hey. Also, we didn't activate the coal contract for up there. We probably won't do that for tomorrow then. Uh, I'm just going through all the new locations now. And I'm just arriving at Governor Island, Paul. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I can start. I, I'll slow down and wait before I get there. Yeah, oh, you yeah, need to see what what everything is before you come crashing through. <laughs> Shenanigans is happening up here. So, night. There is a at Alarka. There is a coal thing, but it's not there because we didn't take it up because we didn't know about it. That's cool. What do you mean we didn't take it up? As in, we need to take a gondola of coal. Yeah. We're gonna activate the contract, don't we? I've only just activated it. So it'll be tomorrow now. We'd have to yeah, buy, cool. buy the coal as well, wouldn't we? Or do we get one free? I think we get one free when we activate it. Oh, we just buy the coal, but we get the gondola. Something like that. We need to buy a coal hopper, apparently. That's annoying. Okay, oh, we need, to, we need to buy the coal hopper. Yeah, it's 800 and something bucks. You have to buy a call up and set a way bill on it. Why do they call it a way bill? I don't actually know. But you will be pleased, Paul. I remembered what you said push everything to the back of the interchange. Hey. I'm safe to come through line one. Line one is safe. Thank you. Stream sniper. <laughs> no, I'm on the camera looking at what you're doing. Honestly, I can't <laughs> believe someone someone would stream snipe in a game like this. Makes life so much easier. King Awesome, just refuse. That's my advice with Monopoly. Just refuse to play it.
Right, that's them out the way. So we got him and him. Going straight through, you just stopping there for packs. Picking packs up. Got seven, six, sixteen. Continue on. And dropping off. Just concentrating. Well, I'm juggling two locos, so yes, I am concentrating. Ah. That doesn't sound like a good ah. No, we have a technical problem. What's this technical problem? The line is blocked with all the stuff that needs to come back. What are you, what are you talking about? Do you know where you've been delivering the stuff to the bridge? Yeah. That stuff's all there, and that's the line I need. I thought it's all on the sidings, isn't it? No. You know where it splits into three? Yeah. And you went up the middle one. That's the line that now continues on. Could you okay. grab them, put them back, and then push them into a siding? I could do, yeah. Then eventually we'll get round to moving those. <clears throat> Where's he trying to get to? Um, Alarka or Brooks? I'm going to go to Hemingway and then on to Alarka. Okay. Don't go as far as Brooks. Uh, um, get used to calling that a Larka Junction. A Larka is another station south of that. Huh. I'm going to AJ then. Oh, you scumbag! <laughs> Works for me. Trucker J. Osha doesn't allow it because they don't believe that their drivers are skilled enough. On this railway, the drivers are skilled enough to so allow to do it. We have a special license, you see. Extra exam you have to take. And it's a very intensive exam in it, Paul. It wasn't easy, I can I can attest to that. You gotta fly shunt at least one thing without derailing and then you get your license. I'll park these next to the two oils because they're not going anywhere. Okay, I need to come and have a look at what's going on up there. Can't get my head around it at the moment. I'm just paying for that. We would never pay off anyone. What are you on about?
How do you um, teleport on the map again? Shift or Control T. Shift T, I think. Or Shift T. Control T. Control T. Oh, you mean the bridge cars that we left? Yeah. They were the ones that were completed at the end, weren't they? So I presume they have to go back now. Yep, they do, yeah. Right, now I'm with you. Okay. So where those two oil cars are, just a bit further. You're going to put them down the side? I'll, I'll stick them in there. The oil cars have nowhere to go. Not yet. They've still got 8,000. One's full, one's an eighth. You'll have to come out there in a day or two, I think. But yeah, it's fine. Okay, right. That one and that one. Can also put them on the tracks up like in hardwoods last grade. That is true. But they are empty, so it's not a big deal. And you've got stuff to take up to and collect from hardwoods as well. That's why I avoided that. Is that us through? How you get on pups? Uh, juggling stuff as well. <laughs> Trying to find out how many milk carriages we can fit into our one. I don't think we're going to fit eight in. Oh yeah, there's, there is a limit when you get to level four, I think. I remember somebody saying about it, like, when you get to level four, you'll have to do this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh someone already knows. There's four cars. Thank you. Four candles. Yeah, four candles. What's sent to the candle, so that's the question. No, 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 four candles. <sighs> <laughs> You know, handles for forks. Perhaps they even watch that. I don't know. Why does everyone assume I don't watch stuff? Age. You're young. 
and that means I don't watch old stuff. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Well, there we go. Treading new ground. Don't get lost. I have seen there's a 25 limit on this one. A 20? What do you mean, a 25 limit? 25 mile an hour limit. Uh, interesting. So even a diesel train wouldn't help you, though. You still have to slow down. Wait, why is this one? Oh, it's because it's already gone in. Jeez, I was worried there. Right, where are you going? Rice and lumber and coal. You want to go there. And you want to go to standard oil R1. Where the heck is that? Standard oil. You watch, that'll be where I just put those carriages and. <laughs> no, I think you might be right. Yep, stand the doors of one near the bridge. Woo! <laughs> well, I apologize. Ooh, that's an impressive bridge. What's the key to check the gradient? Shift question mark. 's a lot of faff this job you have 24 log cars to handle with you 12 are WSMR one unloading and 12 are split over Connolly and the full bring them to the sawmill and take the empties down what do you do in your spare time <laughs> <laughs> That's AI operated. Nice.
Four dollars timely. I'm just that good. Yeah, we definitely need another logging car. Is it like railroads online? No. The only thing it has in common is is trains. Uh, Kamikaze, thank you for 51 months. You'll be working in the supermarket, nice. <laughs> Did they make a song about that? I'll be working in the supermarket. Uh, Mustier, thank you for 26 months. Ivan, thanks for 67. Rishi with 43. Nat Matt with 10. Thank you, guys. Afternoon, crisps. Thoughts on Simrail. I enjoyed it, it was fun. Look forward to the update in a few weeks. dollars timely there you go uh i'm playing with nine pups we haven't done that bad today we started off after we got everything that new carriage we have 377 in the bank left, and we're up to 1,547. I was literally about to say, should I pay back the loan? <laughs> <laughs> now we're up to I 600. <laughs> and then I saw it change, like, yep, that's my answer. <laughs> yep. In theory, though, we can borrow money for, like, is it two or three days before we pay interest? Two days, I believe. So in theory, you know, if you're smart about that, you can if you borrow stuff to make money, play Delph.
Right, finally I can head up away from Bryson. There's even a bit of cheese you can do with it, as the max loan is determined by your assets. So if you're loaned to buy something, your limit goes up. Right. Uh, there's only one dog donkey. Or reverse. Same with any captive industry, Silver's pulpwood tracks. What's the same? Vinny, thank you for 47 months. I feel like I just had to concentrate for like the last 15 minutes just to make sure I didn't mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job, Paul. Now I'm just going to move all this mess out of the way that night left for me. You're welcome. How rude. Does the game have a high-pitched ping to it sometimes? I think that's oh. your ears. Or possibly your headset. This is a real <laughs> moment. Uh, Boeing, thank you for 128 months, dude. Happy Yachts 10 to you. 128, insane. Thank you. Thank you for your 7 bit sub. Uh, they're all moguls. The amount of stuff that needs to come back here from Bryson is insane. Yeah, well, there's a few things I've left up there.
We've had a mogul pushing 800 and something tons at one point. Yeah, I mean, but that's a that's a steep incline for that bit. Trying to get some money. <laughs> Sorry. What? I mean, it was only free. Three dollars for two fares. Oh my god. I think where he seems to be more popular. What do you collect? The person that's asking if anyone collects anything. Oh, is anyone? No, I'm not an avid collector. It's a fine line between collecting and hoarding. I collect unplayed Steam games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think you're not alone in that one. <laughs> Quite like that one. That was a good one. Oh, by way. Oh, you stupid game. Very nice, very nice. Like coins and gold. Seems like an interesting collection. There's a lot of shunting going on, isn't the Pep? I agree. A lot of shunting. That's the. I think that's the advantage with um, railroads online. You can make your own track within limits, so you you can do a lot of track to reduce the amount of shunting. This is like minimal track, maximum shunting. Still not full on logs yet. Well, it's not been that much time gone.
empty river somewhere in between. Um, yeah, I guess. The map's not big enough in Deerow Valley. That's its main problem. Like, Deerow Valley would be so much more enjoyable if the map was four times the size. I forgot where the Appalachian hardwoods go now. It's the right hand of those three forks. Hmm. Oh, and three of them want to come out as well, of course. They I was going to say three of those need to come back to the interchange. Of course they do. And it won't be the front one, will it? Oh no, the middle one's staying. <laughs> the ones you got on the middle, you want me just to hook up to them and push them back? Or oh, you got it under control? I don't know where, where you are. I'm on my way back down that middle line. I'm away. I'm not oh, the there yet. Oh, that one, yeah. If you want to shove them back to Bryson, you can hook them up with the three cars that are sat in the siding there as well. You can just push them in and leave them there if you want, or take them with you. It's up to you. Exactly, donkey, exactly. Just create some distance. So we've got some decent runs. Do you need me to come and grab anything at Bryson to bring back to the interchange? Because I'm at Edda, right? Probably all the stuff that Knight's about to leave there, I'd imagine. Right, I'll come and push. I'll come up that way and grab it. Drag it back. Because I'm done this side of the map. Right, the AI is reversing. Warning, this AI is reversing. Coming back from AJ and Hemingway, there's not a lot of engine power required. How many um, packs have you got on board? Not many. Nine, eleven. Really? Eighteen. Don't forget, it's the first time that line's been operated, so it's going to be slow on day one. Will it? Will it build up? It will build up, yes. Is how it works? Yeah. Sounds very yeah, transport yeah. fever. I only took two to AJ, and they came from Hemingway. Looking at the roadmap for D-Rail Valley, at least one new map, maybe more, will come with the DLC that comes out in 2025! Slow burn. Mr. Halo, thank you for 43 months. Is linked to the amount and tiers of contracts in their area. It's linked to the amount and tiers of contracts in their area. Right, so it's not the fact that we haven't been there, it's just that the 
industry in the area is quite low, is that what you're saying? I guess that makes sense because the passengers go into work and stuff. So we jump. Let's have a look at that, isn't it? See what contracts we can get up there. None. They're all set to so the highest they can go right now. There is a building up at Asia on the track that forks back north again. Alright, I'm on my way up from Edda to grab whatever you need me to push back to the interchange. I think it's my first time coming up here, so that's going to be interesting. I don't think Knight's up there with the stuff yet. No, I'm just arriving at where you've left the carriages. No, I'm just leaving Edda, so... But like I said, I've never been up this far off the map before. <laughs> I don't need to come up this far normally. It should be used to being that far north. Wow! Yeah. I will say I don't mind being up north. It's cheaper. <laughs> That's the only reason it's cheaper. Cheaper, colder, wetter. All the good actually, things. Actually, I would like to point out before you start this. You was the one that kept having rainy days and stuff. And oh my like, god! Because it happens once here. in ten years, you like you're never it's gonna forget it. But I'm claiming it. We're bound to get freak weather conditions every now and again. <laughs> every time I say anything, that emote pops up, and it's. <laughs> Every single time I open my mouth. I don't think it's the it's what you say, pups. I think it's more the way you say it. I'm just passionate. I'm not even raging. Well, that's I'm what very they can, passionate. Okay, think of the emote as a passionate emote. So what then people are saying is Pops is being passionate again. Then you need to change the name to SQRL Passionate. Wait, it's not. Uh, so, mate, you can pipe down as well. Just, just you know, it's passion. Come on, gang. First thing I've said, have a word, Paul. <laughs> this is why it's safer to lurk something. You don't get puppy passion. Uh, oh, excuse me. I can't see that emote, by the way, so there's no point in even trying to... It's on my ignored list. <laughs> I, I literally just have such a, a cringe. I literally just have a blank square, so yeah. I don't know what the emo is. <laughs> you are such a cringe. <laughs> it literally ignores Christmas emotes. <laughs> I can literally just right click on the emote and go ignore. Uh. The more you post more new ones, the more I can just right click on them and turn them to ignore.
Uh, thank you for 100 more months, by the way, Mr. Sami in tier 2. Sorry I missed that. Hey, I stopped at a switch, pups. I know. I've got my list open. I'm just trying to figure out where I need to go in Bryson to get to you. Uh, line two? Yeah. Two. As, as I come from my direction. Yeah, the, these will be on line two. I'll be on line one. Okay, I am switching to line two. I shall just wait in the main. Do you want me just to wait in the main bit? I'm going to try using this new skill I've got. <laughs> Are you trying some speed shunting? <laughs> so, as you can imagine, this isn't going to go well. Yeah, 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 I just need to get him back. It's fine. These three are going in there, but he's not. Oh, you're saying the wrong way? Oh, no. They have to be in a specific order. I did not know that. So he's going to be at the back. I didn't know that. Hmm. That's frustrating. Okay, all right. I'll have to fix that with some more shunting. Woo! Woo, woo! I like steam frames. Woo! <laughs> Sorry! Everyone can tell you're having great fun, Paul. Well, I, I just kind of find that a bit faffed, quite frankly. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not quite sure because it doesn't matter because they're all going to get used. They're all literally, yeah. It's all a big platform, though. But oh no, this one's got to go at the back. Thanks, Knight. You're welcome. I'm guessing I passed my license exam. Yeah, yeah. You passed your flying colours. You should get your license in the post in the next seven working days. If you want it quicker, just buy some cornflakes. They're on the back there, the licenses. Exactly. Uh, can it be crunchy nut? No, I banned myself from buying those. Well, it's in the price of crunchy nut cornflakes. That, that, but that's not the only problem. I ate an entire box in a day. I mean, it's, all it's doable. Both. It's totally almost, doable. Almost as bad as my Ritz. I think it's worse. Like, I think there's so much sugar in crunching up cornflakes. <laughs> but at least Ritz is like a savoury snack. Right, I've got night stuff, so I will sure take this back to the interchange. Oh, wait, there's more to go to the interchange. Well, I left I three can... on the sidings. I can grab those. And night, you're loading up on passengers, right? Correct. So if I grab these other three in the sidings and then go, I'll be out your way. Yeah, because obviously I will be stopping. Yeah, because you don't want me behind you. Yeah, I've got that, that's a rule for life, by the way. What? Okay. Oh, I just, I just have no comment. <laughs> no comment at all. <laughs> You just sit there giggling, thinking you're clever. I'm, I'm not giggling. I'm uh, smirking. I'll let, you have, I'll let you have that one, Paul. I'll okay. let you have that one. Thanks. No worries, Paul. Any time. Right, you scumbag carriages. So you want to go there, do you? Fine. Be like that. Because it can hear what you're saying. It can. I talk to my carriages. <laughs> you're such a naughty carriage. You should just go where I put you.
No, you're going to have to stop at the next I won't. switch. And 131 passengers on board. Noise. I'm expecting is... big things. More I than wouldn't. you can carry. No, because the observation car takes 25. Oh, so they're the first class passengers. Yeah, and they're going... Mm, most of them are going to Whittier as well, so should pay well. Nice. Oh, I got a red signal. The first time we've paid attention to the signals. <laughs> Well, that's where you're going wrong, Tyrope, you see. If you actually talk to your carriages, you know. <laughs> they'll actually do what you want them to. They take requests. I'm going to govern apartment. I'm about to leave anyway. Good. You get in my way, I will not stop my train. Okay. That's a threat. Be also I am threat, now huh? intentionally going to get in the way. My fault, the signal changed green, pups. <sighs> You're so annoying. Yeah, you should see what he did to me up there. I can only imagine. Wait, what? I, I'm reversing with everything. This is a lot of faff. What do you mean? Your face tells me that you are enjoying it. <sighs> I take issue with this particular industry. It, it kind of reminds me, you know what it reminds me of in terms of annoyance? Do you remember Railroads Online when you got to the, I think it was the smelter and it had that little pile of yes. junk outside and it was like, you really did this? You yes. Re it reminds me of that in terms of annoyance. Because there's no logical reason apart from to be annoying they did that. No, nope. I'll just leave this pile of stuff. Oh, I just messed up. Missed one. Oh, I always have that tab bit turned on because I always forget what I need to grab. You gotta wait there, Knight. Uh huh. If you throw the switch after you've been through it, I'll think about it. Thank you. That's all I can ask is for you to think about it. It's worse when you get a higher tiers and you have three co-opers and five boxcars since they won't fit together. So it just gets progressively more annoying, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Oh, 
Right, that's the uh, AI unloading. Green signal. Well, a challenge is great, but when you've got to repetitively work around something like that, it stops being a challenge, it just becomes annoying. You're describing me. <laughs> what repetitively working around you, yes. <laughs> I thought that was a good joke, I thought I'd get myself burned in. Huge penalty for staying at tier three. At most, you're missing a bit of time. Then it's bonus per car. Hmm. I think we've already that... gone to tier four in some industry now. The, the tier four industries we're currently on, we can still do. And we'll hear how to do it. I need to know what that industry is called so I don't upgrade it anything past tier three. What place is that called? Do you know, Paul? What? The one that's you're you're currently faffing around at. This place yeah. is called Appalachian Hardwoods. I won't take that past tier three then. No, you did throw this switch, right? Um Yes you did. <laughs> Iron says give more cars and higher time timeless bonus per car. It depends though, like if it's gonna, if this, like what passenger area does this station upgrade? Is this a Bryson station effectively, or is this the next thing that we need? Where Knight just went to? back to Bryson. Do you think okay. anyone knows we're here, Pop? Oh, I don't think anyone heard us at all. And congratulations, Paul, on finally going back to Bryson. I am proud of you. Alright, next up, Palakian Woods is on somebody else. Not me, I've They got can go and enjoy that one. Um. Knight can do it right with his passengers. I've got a first pass now, I can't do measly freight stuff. Wow. <laughs> I've made a note of that place not to send it past here. Here free. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just upgrade it. It's fine. Wait, yeah, we're only, it's only unlocked to tier three. There's no point restricting ourselves. What's bright? If I've got enough like? coal. Yeah, from a passenger way, we need to upgrade Hemingway and AJ. There's nothing up that way. There is an industry by AJ on the on the spur. Yeah, which is a pulpit in pulpwood industry. I don't know I don't what know. it is. I can i I'm looking at those. I don't know yes. about Hemingway then. But quite a lot of passengers were going to Hemingway even though there's nothing there. Okay, so that's a pulpwood place. It says production pulpwood at nine cars day. And he scored 450 tons of pulp. We don't have pulp. I mean, it's whatever Brooks is doing, because we got the line all the way down past Brooks. Well, the next one is Alarka Junction, and that just has the coal station. I'm looking at this the location. 
Well, I think to unlock the next stuff, we have to unlock the next bit of trap. Right. I don't know where the cold thing is at a lock, I think, so I didn't see it, but I found it. Unless it doesn't build the thing until the key about enabled it. Oh yeah, we also need to, before we end this day, we also need to get a coal wagon. Well, I can skip time a bit if you want me to get the logs loaded now, because we've done most of the work. Logs are already unloading back at the sawmill. Yeah, but if I, if I wait an hour, they'll you can get another run out of it, is what I'm saying. Depends how quick they unload. Okay, there's two hours gone. What does it look like now? One is left. There is one carriage still on London. Okay. How about now? Right, I'll send those on the line. You see what I'm saying now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to lose anything by doing that. We'll gain money from logs. Right, I'm sending it. 1.3 tons should be enough to get me back to where I need to go right. Oh my god. You haven't done that again, have you? I had plenty when I left, but I don't normally travel this far, so I didn't know how much I needed. You know when you were at Bryson, there was like a nice cold place and water out there. It's fine. How are you so much? Because I've got four tons of that cold. Because you're not pulling any weight, really. Are you We're coasting? Are on average pushing 300 tons. Are you coasting? I am coasting, yes. But to get up to speed, I use a lot of coal. I, I don't understand it, Knight. Like, I move stuff around, you move stuff around. He burns so much coal, I don't get what he's doing with it. I just don't like the planet. Yeah, ironically, he goes quite slow. <laughs> I caught up to you quite quickly. Well, I went round a turn and lost all my momentum. Fifty dollars for thirty-four fares, and that's with a bonus. Actually, yeah, does the bonus get added there, or does it get added on at the end of the day? Maybe Tyrup knows how the observer car works in terms of bonus. Yeah, because some of those were on the observation car. The observation car, twenty percent bonus. How does it work? Is it built into the price they pay, or does the bonus get added afterwards? It gives the bonus there and then. So if we got $50 for 34 passengers, does that sound like a 20% bonus has been added? If and only if the balcony faces clean air. Did you hear that? Well, the balcony is at the front, so it's and the my engines at the back.
If I flip the camera over, I can confirm that it's working. Wait, what? So basically, move your camera to night and you can see where it is. Oh. There you go. Which one's you, Loco 2 or 3? 2. Where's the observation car? First one you see. The balcony at the front, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, apparently that's good. Give me a push if you want, Mike. I need to slow down because uh, when we get to with you, I need to make it so that uh, we switch the switch so that ball goes around me. I lose so much momentum down around the corner. CP score five to hop straight and loco. By the way, is that cheating? Can't you just press R and bring up the list and click the I symbol? Yeah. That's what I press R and then just click that. That's how I switch between my train and the AI constantly. Yep. I suppose TP command is no different to control clicking on the map, really, but. It's also nice to TP to various stations, you have the stream deck, what, you have the stream deck set up to go TP, slash TP, and then Whittier, Whittier or something. That's quite cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I've decided I need a stream deck, deck just for that purpose. What, just for this game? Yep. Lol. I'll tell you one thing I would like this game to have is when you bring up the list of locations, you don't need to jump to the location to throw stuff onto your switch list. You should just be able to click the building and be like, what's there, instead of having to teleport to each one. Because mm. that gets annoying every morning we start over. Yeah. Quality of life. I could set up a rage button to ban certain people in chat as well. Switch has been clicked full. Thank you. Which is a good upgrade from the G16 model. I don't see the specific logging locomotives. It's mad. There's two right in front of you that says logging. What? They, they, they lock in lock in. What did I say? Or what do you think I said? Oh, I thought you said you couldn't see any. No. I said it's interesting that they have specific logging locomotives. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, that's fair enough, Mickey. 
doesn't help that everything's in Polish in that game. The logging locos are just names. I thought they mean they were specialised. Clear to come through though. Should be fine, yeah. The link set up. Take you straight through. I might still be filling up the coal and water by the time you get to. Um... <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> by the time you get to the interchange, so just be careful if you see a train uh, stop. Now we know what's causing, like, climate change. It's literally pups. <laughs> One man <laughs> burning all the world's coal. <laughs> what it is. Oh, blimey, you're only there. He's going very slow. I am going very slow because I'm on less than a ton of, of, of coal. You can virtually freewheel it from Ella to here. Hopefully this will be a big payout. We'll see. If not, you're fired. Two fifty-seven for hundred and seventeen. Two dollars. Not bad. Somebody said that the passenger services are really lucrative. When does it get lucrative? <laughs> I mean, considering how much those cars cost, what, they were like five grand each or something? And you're getting two hundred dollars. I was wondering why is it saying my airlines are disconnected and I'm going across my train and then suddenly there's another locomotive attached to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is it saying I've got an air leak somewhere? <laughs> I was kind of hoping you wouldn't notice so I could just pressurise your brakes. <laughs> well, I was, I was wondering because it said I suddenly moved. I was like, why am I doing two miles an hour? <laughs> like, What's going on? <laughs> i done all that work, Knight, right? Mm -hmm. And I've only used a quarter of my coal. I have 3.8 tonnes of coal and 2,600 gallons of water. Yeah. And I've been all the way, you know, quite a long way. I've been all the way oh, yeah. to Appalachian, pushed all that stuff around, come all the way back, done some shunting at Bryson. Quarter of my coal, just over a quarter of water. Someone's got a heavy foot. Mm. It is called seriously quick deliver logistics. Come on. And I caught you up. It, this bit's not quick. The bit that I'm currently at is <laughs> it's not a quick part of the operation. <laughs> bit of a queue here. Notice? Is this the M25? Waiting for a little puppy. Sorry, pups. I couldn't resist. I must have missed your comment. Mm. 
No, I don't know what it was either. Hey, Pups, only nine months until Pups' favourite time of the year. I'm going on a cruise, it don't bother me. Glenn, thank you for 102 months. Any cruise operators in chat? You could just find me a spare room over the Christmas period. I'd be very thankful. There is a guy in chat who's got a lot of experience in cruises. <laughs> Lol, Matty, get wrecked. How's the logs doing the AI? Uh, loading up. How far are they done loading? Uh, they've got more. Okay, they've just done. Did, did you skip time? May I done? <laughs> I was like, I was here a second ago and they wasn't full. Am I dragging your train with me? Yeah. Well, you've got coal <laughs> now. Yeah, but you're, you're, you need to separate when you put your stuff in the yard because I need to go. I'm just getting left. a free tow over to the coal thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're using my coal. Yeah. This is how <sighs> this is how I use less. You see. Well, that's why I burn so much. Yeah. I mean, I can send you to the Bermuda Triangle. That'll do me. Ah, oh, sign up. Where do I sign up? That gondola is not far off being empty. Yeah, I was thinking that. Uh, hopefully, we get delivery tonight. Mm. You only get it once it's empty and you take it back to the interchange. We've got 4.7 left now. Got emptied by somebody, I don't know who that was. Uh, Tyrope, that's a cool, cool stream deck layout. Right, pups, I need to throw some cars down there. Uh, I'm going to push mine all onto the to the middle lane where there already are some at the end. So you can use three and four, or one and two your, as you're looking at it. I don't think the Royal Navy would take me, Andy, lad. Why is that? For one, I'm a bit loopy, and I have a back of an 80-year-old. You have a what? Oh, a back? A back of an 80-year-old. sure the Royal Navy will find you something to do. You can be the guy that gets in the torpedo to test it. <laughs> Sounds like a fun job, that. Probably just get you to do a sit-down job.
Okay, I've done my bit. I've done my bit. I'm just topping up. Is that AA on the way back, pups? Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't don't start the new day yet. Oh, there he is. He's slowly coming. Yeah, he drives by the speed limits, you see. That's the problem. Exactly. Does his whistle and his bail at all the right times? You know, follows the book by the letter. Talking about by the letter, how much cold is he on? <laughs> 2.6 tons. Actually, that's a good point. We've not actually tracked how much cold he's burned. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a water top up, I think, as soon. After. I'll, I'll let him load it, unload this lot and then I'll top him up. 1.9 tons left. Yeah, he's actually quite low, isn't he? Water. Is it a junction now? Yeah. Of all the things to be curious about about me, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that was on the way. What, whether you're a millennial? Yeah. Do you guys even know how old I am or when I was born? Are you just going to make an assumption? I mean, are we talking birth age or mental age? Because <laughs> they're very different in my case. There's a bit of a gap. <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a big gap between those two. I really wasn't Matty, but thank you. That's your mental age, 14. I was going to say, for one, I wouldn't be a mod. <coughs> Will he actually drive into the back of night, do you think? No, I've set the track so he can swing to the left and then I'll push him forward. I think his fusing needs to be all the way back there, doesn't it? That depends, I guess. It's handy back there. He needs cold and water, are you not going to get him to do it now? No, I'll, do, I'll get the new day and then when he's unloaded, I'll sling him in there when we're all out of the wine. Right, you can go forward now. Yep. He's got to stop first and do his proper procedure. Yeah. yeah. By the book. He's even got his light on. Like, who has a light on? Well, you know, it's... Mine off. 20 past 5, it's uh, gonna have the light on shining on the back of those logs. See? <laughs> Two whistles and a bell. Amazing. Uh, Gamo, thank you for 31 months. Wait, someone thinks I'm in my young 50s. <laughs> Jeez! You said that? The green fellow, young 50s. Jeez! Uh, Sean? Yes. Look over here. How am I looking? Uh, the sawmill. I, I just clicked over. Don't worry about it. There's two. I know. Don't worry about it. You're not, you're not worried about that? No, that's my department. Yeah, but won't they get refilled if you chuck them in now? No, because it goes on how many logs this I can keep supplying this thing for the rest of them to tick over. And at the moment, we can't keep up with enough logs to keep those ticking over constantly. I'll have to pull those out in the morning to get new ones in. I was indeed born in the 90s. Are they all filling up from this place? 
No, some are emptying and some are filling. Jeez, whatever happens to having input and output lines? One's on the next to the shed are the new ones, and they're all empty, waiting for some dimensional lumber. <laughs> dimensional lumber. That's what it's called. If you hover over it, that's what it's called. <laughs> As opposed to what? <laughs> Non-dimensional yes. numbers. <laughs> yes, Paul. Uh, oh, wait, Paul, could you buy a... Buy a coal car, please? A coal wagon. For what? To go up to the one... Oh, at... AJ. Uh, yeah, AJ. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Logs, dome, caboose, local. Where is the coal thing? Is it that one there? The 70 ton three bay hopper? Uh, Used to deliver coal one? to your coaling towers and conveyors. It's a 30, 20 ton, 36 foot two hopper, is what's next to me. At the bottom, two the two bay, two bay is bay. small. Well, we might as well send a big one up there, right? 36 foot two bay hopper. Yeah, let's send a big one up there. Well, what does it need? Well, the oh, one that the one that's here is a two bay hopper. Is that empty? Okay. No, this one's well, it's one ton left. But if you want a bigger one to go at the top, you need the three bay one. It's just to supply coal to our trains that are up there. Mm, no, just, which means it will just last longer. The bigger it is, the less top, less like less we have to fit it. Well, we can afford either. It's just how much money you want to spend: eight hundred and seventy dollars or one thousand three hundred and seventy-five. Okay, the cheapskate in me sends the cheaper one. But it would make more sense to have the bigger one up there, so we don't have to drag it all the way back here every time it needs filling. Fifty ton capacity, eighty two ton. Uh, the Actually, bigger one is so much is so much worth. The towers hold like hundred and twenty tons anyway. Especially considering the interchange will eventually move further away. The less often we have to do it, the better. Okay, so this one with our discount is eight hundred and sixty two dollars divided by fifty tons is seventeen. Point two four dollars per ton. Remember that, because this 17. one seventeen point two four got it. This one is one three six two divided by eighty two point five is sixteen point five dollars per ton. That one's cheaper per ton. So yeah, it's like when they put the labels in the supermarket and it says cost per hundred grams, and that's the only true way you can actually really compare them. So it is cheaper to buy that one. Let's do it. There you go. No. Do you want me to pull that no. out of there? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Load at Whittier. And then empties at. It's not even full. No, you have to wait for it to. Will it fill it up? It will fill it up overnight, but no, it's not on the empty list yet. Oh, that's because it ain't ticked over yet. So it will just fill up and just sit there a minute when we tick over. Okay, so you want me to tick it over now, sleep? Yeah, go for it. Whee! Can confirm, that's got a lot of coal in it. Hey, Appalachian Hardwoods, that's got Knight's name written all over it. Whittier saw, Whittier saw. <sighs> so I, oh, okay, that's a wit. Oh, there's new ones. Where are these going? Robinson Gap Coal. Where is that? Have a look where that is. That is two tracks. Stop past. Oh my right. God! You go past Alaka Junction and turn right. 
And the thing is, because it's a dead end, oh, it's actually got some sidings in front of it. Oh, yeah, that's the thing that I was talking about. Yeah. So you can shunt, like, shunt around and get back around the front and stuff. All right, so, Paul, if I give the, the ones that go into that place... Okay. I shall grab them from the back and push them down the line to the... Well, from your side to the left so you can grab them. Okay. The East Whittier coal can go with the Stenzel Manufacturing Conic. So isn't that the one that's outside of Whittier? Which is the one that's going up to the top? The one that currently says East Whittier Coal. But East Whittier is not at the top. The one that's in the interchange needs to go up to the top. Ignore where the destination is right now. Yeah, it is Stenzel is. It's labelled wrong. What? No, it's that one it... there, Stenzel BB2. No, I'm on about the coal cart in the interchange is labelled wrong. Don't want to pull this coal out of the way. It's got to go up towards the end of the... It's got to go to Whittier, isn't it? No, you... it's labelled wrong. Oh, right, okay. The game has labelled it wrong and I can't get it to... Click over to the so right where's that going to? Alarka Junction. Basically, right up past Bison towards AJ. Alarka Junction. Yes. Right. So I might as well take that with the other stuff. So I'll grab yes. all of it now. And then I will push these into the lane for you to grab as well. Lotus, thank you for 115 months. And then Knight, if you could grab. Oh no, because that's going to make your thing not give you the bonus because it won't be at the end anymore doing all right lotus thank you hope you're well uh, uh like where you set the destination hit the middle button what if he hmm. yeah he wants to have his does it matter if, the, if that observation is going backwards As long as it's clean, it doesn't matter if it's forward or backwards to pay for the view. Yeah, okay. So as long as that car's facing out at front or back, if that helps. I can grab these two. Well, as long as he puts them on the front of his train, yes. Yeah. And how close can, to the train can it be for it to be clean? They just That observation deck just needs to face into nothing. You cannot have a car in front of it, if you see what I mean. Yeah, because obviously... Yeah, they're standing like, there, uh, paying for the view. Because I'll be reversing back to go the other way, so the, the smoke will be going towards the car, but there's two cars between it. I don't think they care about the car. I think they care about the view. Uh, Paul, you can... It's just because just you said clean air. Yeah. I've set the switches for you, Paul. You can grab your stuff. I need to get out of the way. You will do, yes. You, no, would it be easier if I stuck these on the back of you? Yeah. Um, so basically where you're... I'll be, I'll, is. yeah, I'll be pushing them. It's better for me to push because yeah, then so I can leave the carriage. On, yeah, if you go on track one, I can move my stuff out of the way so you can push them. Yeah, I'm just doing that now. Right, which way are you going, Knight? Because I need to get out somehow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross over to the, to line one. Okay. That one. Well, let me just teleport to 
all the depots to put stuff on our switch list. become quite lucrative but heavy and long trains yeah Yeah, I imagine bringing these back full of coals could be problematic. <laughs> 82 tons of coal each. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Could be fun. Mining supplies. Don't forget, AI needs uh, coal and water. Yeah. Oh. No, you're going to have to stop before that junction or keep going for a bit so I can pull my stuff out of the way. Evening, Timmy boy. But no, I'm not looking at my train, I'm leaving with the AI, so tell me when it's like back down the track a bit so you can get in and I'll stop my train. Count going over the grass. You just can't trust good. some people, can you? What? I'm going to Connolly right now. Oh, it's because the AI was locked down there. Mm. Who's in charge of the AI? Me. Ah. That is my fault. I do apologise. It's all right. I'm not very heavy. <laughs> Actually, I'll stop the AI until night time. Otherwise, I'm going to block his track. I'm not strictly empty. I've got a 82 tons of coal. Should be enough, pups. Yeah. And 40 Gosh. tons of mining supplies. So I've got 120 tons of stuff, and all the rest is just the weight of the cars. See you later, Zorg Gamer. See, if you look at the water in this, it looks like the water in Simrail, because they're both Unity, and it must be like yeah. the Unity water.
Oh yeah, but I've got a backup plan, Tyro. We've got another mogul up at Bryson, so if it gets too much, we'll double stack it with moguls. Also, I think we did a very productive day. We're nearly up to full time. Your train stopping. Whose? Yours. Why? Because there was a switch wrong, so the AI stops. Why is there a switch wrong? I don't know. Oh. <sighs> Honestly, merging track. I think you. Can, oh, can you tell it to ignore this? I just can't remember. I don't think you can tell it to ignore merging track. I think it's just the way it behaves. Right, Pops, Connolly is set. Thank you. I'm just topping the AI up and then I'll send it on its way. Well, that's the thing, Tyrope. Like when they're merging, it's not switched against it because the train just pushes the switch back on. You know what I mean? I can understand diverging track. This up is because it pushes a switch, it can reroute an incoming train wrong. Yeah, I get what I get the effect, but I also think it should be down to the player to decide if they want that train to do that. Because I agree, it's a risk. Yeah, just yeah D just give the player the options is all i'm saying like options like that would can cause a collision but you as the player are like okay i get what i'm doing i'm not planning on sending any trains down that line anyway just let the ai do its thing
Uh, AI is on the way up to the creek. Diesel is expensive, really. Hmm, interesting. I don't want to look at the cost of a GP9. It'll just make me cry. Oh, look at it for you. Le leave me with the excitement that we can get diesel one day. I'll look at it for you. With our discount, it's £33,000. Yeah, that's per minute <laughs> to run it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the transition from the orangey sunrise to blue daylight, just like that. That was me skipping an hour just so I could tick the rest of these parts over. Wow, Pops, how could you? Do you want to make just, money or not? You ruined my sunrise! Oh, yeah, because it was such a great sunrise. I do apologise. Take me to court and sue me. Exactly, just ruined the immersion. Take him to court for immersion ruining. <laughs> I would love to be the judge in that case. So you're telling me you brought someone to court because they fast forwarded time in a virtual game? Yeah, and it ruined the immersion for everybody. I reckon the judge would laugh. And hit the brakes. What have you done? <laughs> I've come across a blockage. He always calls you a blockage, Paul. How rude. Whatever he's done, it sounds expensive. Oh, this scumbag stopped at Fusey. You absolute <laughs> annoying, stupid AI. There's me thinking, oh, it'll almost be at Bryson by now, but like, no. That's what I meant by a blockage. Well, you could have been slightly more specific. Just had to pass the Fusey. I just did, but I didn't know until now. It could have been kept uh -huh. going. This thing's probably been sat there for the entire duration I've been shunting when I was expecting it to be nearly at Bryson by now. And that's what's annoying. But hey ho. It's 
be honest, we had a Fusey there when we had the AI run the packs, but right now I don't know why we've got a Fusey there. I can move the Fusey. No, you're not. It's still there. I can literally see it on the track. I think you removed it from the wrong place. No, I said I meant as in Nike removed the Fusey. Oh. I've got a bucket of water and I've put it out. <laughs> <laughs> also, cheers, Ken. Uh, Kenson, thank you for three months. Got tired of ads. Thank you, Kenson. Oh, talking about ads, did you hear about Discord? Oh, you see, this this is what I'm saying. This is the way Discord's going. It's going to put the thumb screws on us until we pay. Yeah, if you're not Nitro, you're going to get ads. It's no, no, it's it's only if you, so far, it's only if you do certain things. So there's certain games where if you string to friends in Discord, you can earn prizes in the game. And if you do that, they will play ads in the bottom left-hand corner. But eventually it'll be, if you're not nitro, you'll get ads. Oh, yeah. Thing is, you know, Discord is extremely popular and very useful. And somebody is paying for all those servers yep. and also, all that software development <laughs> and that's taken a lot of investment and somebody wants a return so it was always inevitable also I feel like Discord is missing out on a massive massive part of the market because all I ever hear is bad things about Microsoft Teams and Slack and people saying Discord's better but they don't have an enterprise option so you just need to like clone it and make it an enterprise option and just say it to companies. Yeah, and use that to pay for all the gamers who don't want to pay. Exactly. Then it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> well, no, hang on, mechanic. That that's slightly unfair. Like, the, there are actual people who are being paid to develop the software for Discord. Lots of them. There's also engineers, network engineers, people who are running the servers, the cloud payments they have to make, the, the network bandwidth payments, like all this stuff is costing money. Of course it's a business. Either you charge to use it or you have investors who stubby up the cash to have the whole thing built and then at some point they either sell it to get a return or they start charging for it. There's got to be something there's no such thing as a free lunch at the end of the day. I mean, Microsoft tried to buy it, and I really didn't want that to happen. But they've got to earn the crust somehow. We've enjoyed, what, eight, nine years of Discord for free? That's insane. Well, I don't know if there are enough people paying for Nitro. It's the same problem you have on Twitch. Like, are there enough people paying for Twitch Turbo to keep the platform going? Probably not. It's probably a small percentage. They need to give you reasons to get Nitro, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're saying, right, we're going to start bringing in ads. If you have Nitro, you won't see them. It's no different to what Twitch does. Nothing is free. I mean, I don't have a problem with them doing it as long as they don't do what Twitch does and basically just shove it down your throat. LOI, I agree, Teams is not great. Which I think is why Microsoft wanted to buy Discord. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Yahoo Messenger's around. Oh, Maybe they are just the start of it. But I've kind of been expecting this from Discord for a little while now. The first hint was the partner thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at where that went. That's what I mean. <laughs> they had to give up on that option, so let's, let's disable it and then we'll do it another way. The, the thing is, right, from my perspective, as like a, an ex, I sort of presume I'm an ex Discord partner. Maybe I'm still a partner. I'm not sure. But as as a as a content creator that runs a Discord server, I'd be happy to pay for it. 
I, I'd stubby up the cash to pay for the server to exist. And that, as far as I'm concerned, should be the end of that. In the same way that TeamSpeak used to charge, you know, for, for TeamSpeak licenses, yeah. I'd be happy to pay to have the server so that the people in the server don't see ads. <laughs> that's fine, and that's a business. But somebody has to pay. Spamming people with ads just is such a cheesy way of generating cash. Loads of people would rather pay than see ads. I don't think I'd ever go back to TeamSpeak. Discord has so many features I like. Well, I remember the early days when, because I, I was one of the early ones to switch to Discord, and uh, a lot of people just wanted to go back to Dis to TeamSpeak because the audio quality was better. And then Discord's audio quality caught up, and then that was no longer a reason. Oh yeah, but the permission system in TeamSpeak is so much more flexible. Well, yes, it is. Oh, yeah, and you can do this push to talk, and you can also press another button to talk to somebody directly, and that's really useful. Yeah, it is, but all these other things that Discord do is, is you know, and over the years, Discord's got better and better, and now yeah. there's so much functionality that you can't say TeamSpeak's an option unless you just want voice. <laughs> I mean, like Discord, could, like they so could make their money back in so many different ways without affecting the average gamer that uses it. But they just don't think that way. Like you said, like I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that run a community that would happily pay to have a community server and have a couple more perks that come along along with the payment. September 2015. I've been a Discord member, which I think. About six months after they first launched the darn thing. Integration is fixed. What? Someone asked if the integration's fixed. Or is it still No, fun? no, that's not that all works now, Bjorn. <laughs> I don't disagree with that mechanic. I don't want to be swimming in ads either. I don't want people on my Discord server to be swimming in ads. Really, like... Discord needs, like, if you're just using it to connect to servers, then the server has to bear the cost as far as I'm concerned. There are just millions and millions and millions of Discord servers out there that nobody's paying for. Yep. And that, that, that has to be what they look at. Not a user, the actual server. If I join a server that's being paid for, then I shouldn't see ads when I'm in that server. But if I want to use Discord to just you know, message my friends, well then, okay, if that's, if that's what they want to allow, that's fine, but I suspect they won't. Yeah. I suspect they'll say, well, you need to, you need to pay in some way, either money or your time, which is what ads are. Yeah, I mean, there's Gilded, but it's not a patch on Discord. That's what, that's what I was just saying, like, there's so many ways Discord could offset the cost of what they have to pay out, that they just don't. Like, because I know for a fact there's servers with, like, a million plus people on. They must just fork Discord in and have an enterprise version for companies, because they would buy it. I think I should send Discord an email asking if they need a new new finance director. <laughs> followed by, well, that wouldn't be me, but I hope you find somebody. Uh, it followed by, it would be me. I've got some great ideas. <laughs> that double dip and charge for servers and then the individual user too? Uh, I don't think so. You need to treat it like like Twitch does and say, well, you can pay for Twitch Turbo and you won't see ads on any channel. Or if you join a channel where you're paying for that channel, you won't see ads in that channel. It's the same thing, same model. You can pay for Discord, whatever it's called, Discord Turbo, and uh, you won't see ads in any server you go into because you're paying as a user. Or you go into a server that's being paid for and you don't see ads in that server. Yeah. And and then, it's it's got to be something like that. 
they need to find the right price then so enough people buy it to offset their cost yeah but nerd hp you know you can you can't spend the in, your entire life just leeching that's the point ad blockers don't serve anybody except yourself Yeah, there are servers that have paid nitro boost, but that's probably not even touching the sides of how much the people at disc will pay for servers and the development and their time. I doubt that even scratches the surface. Anyway, we'll have to see what they do, right? Yeah, but nerd, by the same argument, there's plenty of things in life I can't afford. Yeah? Lots of things I can't afford. What does that mean? I've got the, I'm entitled to use them anyway? Just because my argument says I can't afford it? Yes, Paul. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you could that just, would be just amazing. go and. It would, wouldn't it? I mean, I could just go down the road and, you know, find somebody's rollers, Rolls Royce, and just. I'll take it for a spin because I can't afford it. I can't afford that Ferrari, but I'm just going to drive it anyway. Don't just mind if I borrow it. I can't afford this, but I'm just going to take it. It's all right. Yeah, let me just Bring go it down. Back. To, let me just go down to the local Sonda factory. I'm just borrowing the car, mate. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong line. I think I need to go middle line, don't I? You do, yeah. Yeah, and I couldn't see the junction because of the smoke, but I managed it anyway. Consummate professional here. <laughs> I have Discord, but don't use it, but use Twitch. Why Discord? It's a community. Discord's like a community. Like Paul has a community you can join. You're a, you're a sub. Join it, hang out, come and say hello. <laughs> you like this idea you want to something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just come back in. You want an upgraded plane that you fly, Paul? Just go and borrow one. How do you teleport to the inside? How do you move your character to the inside of a moving train? Um, yes. <laughs> I tried the TP command. Go first person, then TP. Okay. TP, let's go. Oh, what? It just put me next to it. <laughs> That doesn't work very well. <laughs> run, Paul, run! Have you ever tried getting inside a moving yes. train in this game? Yes, I have, it's and it's ridiculous. Horrible. I'm just going to stand on the side. I, I'm stood here, and somehow I can't walk into that. I don't get it some weird collision box problem when the train's moving. Made it! Woohoo! Well done, Paul! It's not because he's on a curve, it happens even if you're on a massive straight piece of track, you just fall. One point seven percent feels like it as well. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, it's great when you come back. I was going to say I'm struggling with just one car load here. Flipping eh? Uh, Mr. Tani, thank you for submarine prime. Welcome, Scout. Thank you for fifty-two months. Exorcist, thank you for submarine prime as well. Appreciate your support. Uh, Thirty limit. Long. Can't even do 14 right now. This is a heck of a gradient. Okay, you're going to slow down more because you're the first 
equal to middle. You're mumbling. So, you know you're a faster thing, it's kind of towards the middle. Is that going to slow you down because you're not telling it to well, you as much? Well, it means torque. less torque where it is. I'll slow down if I move it more to the left, but I'll get more torque out of it. Okay. It kind of depends what you want, really. It is quite steep. We've got one of those railroads on line bridges. Uh, is it okay if I skip a couple of hours to load the logs up for the AI again? Well, if you do, you'll have to collect stuff from Bryson. Is it oh, probably. I'm not doing that yet, then. There'll be stuff that Bryson will become available, I think. I'll finish doing what I'm doing first. I, I'll be honest, Bowsy, I don't think it would get up here fully loaded. I really don't. But luckily, as Knight says, it's downhill on the way back with a lot of coal. And it'll just be woohoo! Most cops know that the logging train has been stopped at a fuse for about. It's not at a fuse, it's at the end point loading up. It just says it's at a fuse. That next to it on pulse on the stream it says it's logging, that means it's loading. Wow, 25 mile hour limit loop coming up. But that's a climbing loop. Nah, there's no advantage to going backwards or forwards. This hill makes you think, hmm, we need more powerful locomotives. <laughs> yeah. For that, we need more money. Yeah, so Mogul G25 with a discount is 10,600. However, if we sold the current Mogul, what do you get back? Half? I can you. Hey? Mine is worth 4,725. Same. Interesting, that's more than half. If you click on your triangle that brings up that box, you can see what it's worth. 4,725. So you get that back, you put it as a down payment, 4,700, that's six grand. So it's a $6,000 upgrade. Uh, Fidu, I think of it 18 months. Because this, this track is a bit of a struggle. You don't get paid for any coal still in the tender, by the way. Not that it costs a lot, but you know, penny pinching. I don't think we move the tenders till they're empty anyway. No, oh, sorry, didn't. the tender. Oh, I always see what you mean, like stuff that you've put in the back. Gotcha. Yeah, fair enough. Gonna go through Hemingway, the Walker Junction. Are you bringing packs up to Hemingway? Mm-hmm. So, I'm wondering which industries develop Hemingway. Wait, are you coming to a Larker as well? Yep. With packs. Yep. But you're going to Hemingway, aren't you, Paul? Yeah. I'm going through it. Heming Hemingway is already quite popular. It's uh, AJ, that's not. Interesting. Maybe it needs this industry that I'm going to upgrading them. Because so currently at AJ is just the Robinson old gap. Is there anything going to Robinson's cold gap? Robinson, where's that? Oh, that's the one you're doing, okay. That will... Is that Hemingway? Robinson's cold gap, that's the destination.
Oh, it looks like I shouldn't be bringing this coal up here. Apparently the Bryson one should have stayed back at Bryson. I didn't need to drag this way. Just taking a lot of coal for a little ride. Oh, well, you talk to your carriages, Paul, and now you're, now you're giving it... Well, it did, nice... to be fair, it did tell me it fancied a little trip up here, so... So is there no coal thing up that end, then? Bryson's still the furthest we can get coal from. Well, uh, hang on. So I thought that's what we were saying, that that, that coal was for up there. Well, when I... Yeah, okay, yeah, it's mis this is the mislabeled one, isn't it? I think. Because when I'm point hovering over it, it's saying 1.4 miles northeast, which is back in Bryson. But this is the mislabeled car, right? Well, it should be going to AJ. That's what we thought, right? Yes. So I'm dropping this off at AJ. Okay. It's just mislabeled. No, apparently not. A large projection is at water, but not coal. Right, so why are we doing this? Because we thought it had a coal as well. Well, I thought you you assigned it to that when we... I thought it was the whole point. You had to assign it and it filled the coal to take it there. Did you assign it to AJ? Oh, no, there's two different ones. You have to assign, assign where it loads and then where it unloads. And where do you assign it to unload? The furthest point I could. Which is? Uh, Bryson. So you assign it to Bryson. It filled it with coal for Bryson. Yeah, this was after we, it wouldn't show up, so I thought we might have to go there first. But... I think mistakes were made. I mean, just leave it at Bryson. It's not going to run out of coal anytime soon, is it? <laughs> we just spent a lot of money on coal that we don't need for Bryson. Is there nowhere else that has a coal thing up here? Brooks, Alarka, anywhere else? Uh, it's fine. There'll be coal towers further down the line. Yeah, but where? Tyro. <laughs> Where's the next one? <laughs> Loads to Bryson Cooling Tower. So you can only have East Whittier or Bryson. That's all you can have. So we just don't have anywhere yet. I'm on the Hemingway passing loop. Is there a side in that AJ you can just leave it at for now? Uh, yeah, there's loads up at... Uh, well, there's loads up at um, the place I'm going to. AJ, no. Oh, well, actually, AJ does have a siding. But whether we need to drop things there, I don't know. Whereas the place I'm going to, what's it called? Robinson Cole has loads of sidings. Okay. I'll probably just leave it there. You might as well, because then at least we don't have to drag it up there when we unlock the rest of the map. It's already halfway. Suddenly, AJ can get turned into a triangle loop. Interesting. Well, like that. A Cochrane. Robinson Gap, 15 mile an hour. Blimey. Whoa, that's a tight turn. Holy smokes. That is some twisty track. That doesn't look fun. Uh, I'm going to chuck that car over there.
Blimey. Uh, Penny Arcade, I don't think there's a, a limit to how many cars you can connect. It depends how many cars you need to move to get paid and the power of your loco. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, if I'm going to come back up here again, I kind of want a more powerful logo. <laughs> this is horrendous. We did repay the loan. We should be loan free at the moment. Indeed we are. We can take 42 grand, so we can actually upgrade all of our locomotives. Well, all the ones we want to. You'll say the AI doesn't need... Yeah. Well, not yet. No, it doesn't really. It doesn't get lever needed. No, because it's it, we're at the maximum it can take anyway, that one. Isn't? Like, the one at Bryson, we can leave there for shunting operations. Yeah. And then just upgrade the other three, the ones we're driving. I mean, does Knight really deserve an upgrade, though? He's only doing wow. some things. Well, you need a bigger tender, pups. That I do! <laughs> well, I'm not heading to Headingway. Okay. There is a passing loop at Hemingway, so do you need to go to Alarka as well? Yeah. Right, you'll have to let me know when you're going between Hemingway and Alarka. Yeah, the most. Oh, what's that? The Santa Fe? Is that the most powerful steam you can get? Attractive 71,000. Looks like it. And how much is it? Uh, with our discount, 36,000. At that point, you might as well get a diesel. Uh, but you've got to look at the running costs as well. And also, the diesel only does 64. So the steam actually outdoes it. But the you diesel can, can do an extra small curve radius. Whereas the Santa Fe wants a large curve radius. Twenty-five limit takes the curve at thirty-two. Squeaky wheel height. <laughs> Doesn't it say fifteen limit? I think it said fifteen. Yeah, I thought that just meant the temperature. <laughs> I ignored the fifteen. I was like, I ain't going around there at fifteen. As it turns out, he doesn't need to. Where I find out of <laughs> on rail or something. What's the curve radius for? It's basically like it's it's how tight you can make the bend effectively. That's the curve radius because the bigger locomotives have more wheels on them, and all the wheels are in a solid straight line connected by that bar and they can't curve so the longer the locomotive with more wheels on it the curve radius can't be as tight basically in simple terms to the more axles effectively like these bits at the front and the back can but this this in the middle with the drive shaft on it can't it can't turn Matters in the game.
Yeah, so Hemingway, I've got 40 passengers pretty much going there. Nothing for AJ. Nobody wants to go there yet. I guess we need to upgrade this uh, thing. I wonder how, how long it'll take us to upgrade this industry here. Actually, I might better go around the back of this. So let me find out where these want to go. Crikey. Uh... S1. Where's S1 then? Oh, it's that one. That little siding. Okay. I'll get around the back. After 24 hours, you can plus one tier. After 72, you can plus many tiers. Right, so we once we've dropped this off, after 24 hours, we can then upgrade this industry. I, yes, and I have been checking daily to see what we can upgrade now. At the moment, everything is on the max it can be. I think these can go on any of these tracks. I think when you hovered over it, when I saw on the stream, it highlighted both tracks. So yeah, I think you're right. That's what I'm thinking. Take that slight diversion. This track is loaded at one point one per cent back down the hill. No, they're not level. So I was thinking of pushing them in and rolling them in, and I thought, well, I'll just check what the track is, and it's at 1.1%. It's bonkers. Hypothetically, one could send the ones, the full ones back to the junction via gravity. Yes, you could. Yep. Good luck controlling that, but you could have free, free running coal cars coming all the way down that hill. 
could be fun. There's the ring again. I think it's when you get paid is perhaps the ring you're thinking of. When you get paid, you get the ka-ching. Dan is now playing, ready or not. Fifty-seven for thirty-seven. Hmm. It's right. Not... Probably cost us that in coal. <laughs> not exactly a big earner, is it? I'm now heading towards AJ. After what I've just been <laughs> long down. <laughs> but I can wait if you're due back any second. Uh, I've got to do one drop, then grab this coal and head back. Oh, I'll be coming down shortly. If you want to wait in the passing loop. Are you coming all the way up? Or are you going to... Only as far as the... So, where it actually says Alaka Junction is where I need to get to. Okay. GG. Uh, Alaka, yeah. Okay. Oh wait, it's not a problem. I got no I got no passion to go in there, it's just I'm just picking up on there. The AI is unloading logs. That's I'm coming back now because I'm not taking that car with me, so yeah, I'm on my way. Are you no gonna worries. Get stuff from Bryson and bring it back to the interchange. I can do. Okay. One of those oil things by the freeway split needs to come back. I noticed as I went past. Lovely. It should be on the, yeah, it's on the hit list. And then the one from the hardwoods I've put on track three, I think it is. So dragging it all the way up here. What, the Appalachian one? Yeah. So you've, not, you've not done it? I've, I've, I've fetched it from the place. It's now at um, Bryson track three. Ready to come back. Right, that's the empty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I've dropped the full one. Yeah, so the rearmost oil is waiting to come back. Uh, they're probably just FYI, there's going to be a lot more that needs moving on the next day because some places are now at tier 5. And then there's three at Bryson now, your two plus the one I dropped off. Points are set for you. Very cool. Coming at you right now.
Oh. Yo, something was on the crazy and I didn't go over there. I'm doing 41. <laughs> yeah, all the way back. It's downhill a whole lot. Yeah. Great. And how quick you can go through those switches. Find out, Paul. Find out. For science. This chat, this stream is tagged as educational. It is. Doing 42, 43. Maybe I'll just back up a little bit. <laughs> 44. Morning, this train is reversing. 45. Oh my God. Brace, brace. 46 through a switch. It's never going to end well, is it? 47. I hope you've set that correctly. <laughs> 47.7 oh oh smoke oh oh, oh. oh oh it tilted over you see that it tilted yeah. over and derailed that's an impressive <laughs> derail that's gonna be a lot of damage i reckon what's that on? i was gonna say someone's going to do damage after this 72 all right so yeah that's a fair chunk i mean to be fair it was impressive though it's all right though i got a crowbar boys i'm good Crowbar and strong biceps, that's all we need. Great. For science. Well, now we know, and the more we know. All right, I'm just going to put this guy in auto and make a cup of tea. Roger. BLB. Can, I have, can I have one too? Yep. Thanks. Ouch. <laughs> I'm back. See? Problem solved. <laughs> Welcome back, Paul. <coughs> Excuse me. Please don't die on us. <clears throat> I got something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant Dan. What's my honest opinion on Simrail better than Trenton World worth buying in early access? I think it was. I can't remember what the price of it was. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. It's like thirty quid or something. Yeah, just I may or may not have bought it. I know you did. You paid one point six hours of it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Also, it offers what Trentin were promised when it first released. It has MB. I don't know, I just feel like something, you know, and you get like, like some dust or something. Like, yeah, like you got crumbs in your throat. Yeah. That's what it feels like.
One thing I liked about the stim rail thing was the uh, control inside of it. That looked quite cool. I think there's a lot to the game. Um, as it stands. The multiplayer is cool. It's early access. I think it's coming out of early access soon by the sound of it. I don't think you can compare it to Train Sim World or any other game. I think it has its own unique offering. But the big downer for me, if you like, if there is a downer, is it's set in Poland. The tutorials are missing lots of things. And the trains, everything inside is written in Polish. And when you signal control, then everything there is in Polish as well. You can hover over and get an English translation. But that does make it more difficult to play but having said that in the steam community there's some really really good manuals on switching and they explain everything yeah so but there's a dlc coming out later this month oh that was what i found weird about that game so they're going to germany next right they're going um, into the germany USA. I don't get the USA thing. It's a different team doing that. Oh, so it's going to be a completely separate game, or...? No, the different team's developing the USA map, I, th I believe, and maybe the USA locos. Okay, because I thought it would have been nice to carry on in Europe. Well, they are doing. The main team's staying in Europe and probably do a lot more Germany, I think. It'd be nice if they can find a separate UK team. That'd be brilliant. Oh, that would... See, if they did that, I would actually get a train game. <laughs> Not to drive the train, but to the, the to do the controlling part of it. But the whole thing runs really smoothly. You know, it, it, as an experience, it's really good. And the multiplayer is just a lot of fun. What? You don't... What? Quack. Quack. Bah. That was the other one? <laughs> yeah, but it was a sheep one. Actually. Show on the sheep. You reckon they're, they're open the, like the team will open it up to modding, like modding maps? I don't know. Did you pick up the oil tank? Negative. I was uh, making a cup of tea when I drove past. I am getting all the stuff for Bryson. Are you able to get that one or do I need to come back? Should be able to pick it up. It's Unity. This is Unity. SimRails Unity. Trends and Worlds. Unreal Engine. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Like a DLC while in early access. Well, I think I think the idea is it comes out of early access at the same time DLC comes up. I think it oh, will. Okay. I think it will. Okay, that makes a bit. That's more how fun. I understood it. Well, it was on the roadmap. The... Yeah. Yeah. The map editor will be available later this year. So yes, it will have modded maps that's cool yeah i think that'll be cool but the dlc is like cargo isn't it like cargo cars and things like that yes it's all cargo stuff isn't it oh bad i could never do controlling for that so the hardest geezer's finished wow I already see it as a serious condendum, to be honest, Matty. Like, with MP and the level of detail. Like, Train Sim World was meant to have MP at number one, and we're now on number four, and it still doesn't have MP. And the whole control aspect of it. Yeah, they put it on console as well. Some real. Oh, I did not know that's cool. I 
I see some rail going across Europe mainland for sure. I might pick it up when it's in a sale sometime. I wonder if I can find a mod that translates to everything to English. See, like, in DCS, you get some aircraft that are completely foreign. Like, if you fly the Hind, for example, like a Russian helicopter kind of thing, all the labels inside are all in Russian. But you can get a mod that you drop in that reskins the inside so it's all written in English. Now, that's not strictly historic, but when you're in there flying the thing, it is a million times easier when everything is labelled in English. And I wish they'd do that for the locos. I wish perhaps if somebody can mod it, just so you get inside the locos and Simrail and everything's labelled in English. That'd be brilliant. I'm just waiting for someone in chat goes, there's already a mod for that. <laughs> I don't know if it has mods. I just, I'm pretty sure someone said it had mod support. No idea. I could be wrong. I don't think it really helps so bad. a mod for this game that just lets me click on the icons of the map to bring up the stuff that needs to go on the switch list instead of having to teleport my passengers just sit here for a bit and have a look at the view what's impressive about Simrail is all the overhead catenary lines and the gantries yeah. Like just how fabulously detailed and well drawn they are. Uh, T Raper, are you asking whether that's what the mod's called or whether it's I'm getting it for my convenience? Right, I think I've got everything at Bryson. Got four cars. That's right. You got the other one, the oil one. Just get in there. Not Jimbo now. I missed the first session. I'll probably watch the second one. I know O'Sullivan did four frames in under, I think it was like 45 minutes or something. I don't even know what the score is, and I don't want to know the score. What's the scores on the doors, Miss Ford? Yeah, Fadium, the missing tutorial stuff is like an early access issue. To be honest, you can understand it. It's very hard to make tutorials when you're in early access because you're still adding functionality. And then as soon as you add functionality or change something, 
your tutorial's become invalid. So I can understand it, but it means it's hard to get into the game. <laughs> No, Ashley, you don't do that in this game. Matty, what somebody said though was the, li the, the lines that they've picked in America are really odd choices that's what they said so it must be known what they're going to do my guess is the team that's doing it is picking you know their area their favourite area or something maybe somewhere they know somewhere local to them and most no. drivers are like, why have you gone for that? I don't know whether this is true, but isn't American public transport or trains anyway a bit rubbish? Um, yeah. Most of their lines lose money. So what you're saying is I could be a controller for American lines and be rubbish. Got it. American Freight is more fun. There's not many lines in America to choose from. How did you figure that one out, guys? Have you seen how big America is? What are you opening? A chocolate roll. Because I heard that through my headset. What do you mean? <laughs> I no, I think the best one, Paul, is when we, we hear you brushing your beard. <laughs> sense actually <laughs> also remove the ability to steer Tyro <laughs> the only thing you have to worry about is folding backward the plane just flies itself these days, really. Just ask Matty, he takes on and just sticks autopilot. Well, that's it, you just climb to 2,000 feet, hit autopilot, sit back, just flick some lights on and off. As I've never flown on back, so. Me and a fellow monster called Wookie Tom discovered a flaw that I can't pronounce a certain amount of um, waypoints. Yeah, but that's no excuse, because you can also type things out in text. I fly everywhere by hand, Martin. Come on. Of course you do. I don't even know the last time I've, I've fired up flight sim. That's how long it's been.
28th of February was when I last played points. That's not that long ago. <laughs> Oh no, and I wonder talk about that. I wonder if there's been an update on that shared cockpit from the field. Don't shared believe so. Shared no, cockpit of what, sorry? In the Phoenix? Yeah. Is that a mod or built into it? No. You can mod the um your controls to get it to work. But the guy <laughs> that does the Phoenix is currently having to rewrite the entire script for block two. I did see someone streaming, um... Streaming, um, second minute. Streaming share cockpit in Phoenix. Oh. Did it work? I don't know, because I saw that as he finished. Baz, for the thank you for 105 months, scumbag button was hiding from me. I had to refresh to get it back. So why is a full-time flight sim streamer driving trains? Well, I'm a full-time train sim streamer now, Baz. You should know. As of this weekend. <laughs> Starship Power, thank you for two years. A rare time when El Plagiato hasn't gifted me a sub. So here I have to say thanks for the streams. <laughs> thank you very much. I know how that person feels, because in a certain flight sim stream, I can't say anything or even resub in time without him gifting me a sub well you got gifted this month's sub didn't you in this channel i did yeah and with the money yeah. you saved you bought a big mac never had a big mac Doesn't surprise me, Pops. You hadn't had a Nando's before I met you. What's the other one you've never had? Burger King. Burger King. KFC. No, no, no. Some KFC. That was it. There's a there's a fair few. to go out to eat because I have no friends <laughs> <laughs> yeah you do you go out and get a kebab and bring it back and eat it so you went out to eat okay I don't go to a restaurant thank you you having a five guy you have had five guys okay. haven't you yeah Baz got me my five guys yeah and he's on a burger I don't even know what to say now, Paul. <laughs> but as you can, I found out yesterday from uh, Tamashanta about Tesco Woosh. I'd what? never heard of it. What? you not heard of it? No, why Well, that, well, that, that was me yesterday, Tesco Woosh. Is that what it's actually called? It's actually Tesco called Tesco Woosh. Woosh. <laughs> yeah. Basically, if you go to the Tesco website, you can have stuff delivered in less than an hour for two ninety nine. Tesco Woosh. I love whoever came up with that name. <laughs> Needs a high five. Good evening, Paul, Sean, Knight, and Chat. Happy to see you driving okay, a proper I'm train take today. An educated guess here. Paul didn't know what it was. He's probably not seen the advert for it. I, I try to ignore ads as best as I can, so I'm not surprised. Especially their version of delivery and Uber Eats that come from Sainsbury's and Come on. It seems to come from the Tesco Express stores. That's what we worked out last night. Yeah, it is a Tesco Express only thing. 
Christine, thank you very much, sir. Welcome, welcome. Hope you uh, had a good drive today. And Chris94, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Uh, if you just got a sub, please give me a thank you. Thanks for the scroll gifts. Enjoy your emotes. Yeah, so Tesco, Tesco Woo. So I went to Mr. Squirrel and said, have you ever heard of Tesco Woo? She went, yeah. I was like, what? I've never heard of this. I said, yeah, yeah. So it's expensive though, isn't it? I said, not really. It's like two ninety nine. Yeah, that's quite expensive. I'm like, well, no. <laughs> not compared to the price of things these days. But, you know, if you're... Because um, I said it only comes from the Express store, so a bit of a problem is that your selection's a bit limited, I guess. But if you want... You know, some milk and some butter and some essentials. Quickly, you know, you can get them. If you're too lazy to go to the shop. Well, that's the problem is X-Wing, because it's Express. It's A, more expensive, and B, a cut down, like a limited version of stuff. There's only so many things that they stock. Uh, is that you coming in, Paul? Uh, yeah. I'll set the switches for you. No, don't. I'll do them. I'll do them. I'm going to have to reverse. It's fine. As long as you stay where you are, I'll be fine. Can't push them carriages down any further. The whole interchange is full. That's as far as I could get them. Your train needs some repair points. Yeah, we had a scientific experiment back there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I need to repair now. I wonder if before the day goes, can I get this AI to fill up on logs? Hey, whoa, 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 stop! I could have had three hours of repair right there. What are you doing? You're going to get it through the night anyway. Yeah, well, it's not the point, man. Could have chucked it in the yard. I was trying to fill up the AI. That's fine. It could take me a minute to get into that yard. Puppy now you whoosh. get to see the sunset. Puppy whoosh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Puppy whoosh. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Right, Knight, where are you? I'm miles away still. I've got to stop at Ella and Whittier. Pitch black by the time we get into Oh, well, yeah, someone keeps skipping time. That's not my fault you're so slow. I'm doing 41. You see, we don't want to do 47 because I might derail. <laughs> Um, where's the coal gone and where's the it's coal empty. car gone? It's empty. The coal car is in the interchange. But you literally waiting. took it's all the last up. coal. Oh no, I didn't actually. God. The AI did. It You're blaming filled, the AI. When I filled up the AI, it emptied <laughs> what was left in the car. Oh, Actually, I could just upgrade my train, couldn't I? Oh, yeah, you could. I don't have to fill it with coal, then. <clears throat> Who wants an upgraded train? Me! I mean, I'll have one if it's going. Hang on. Oh. Also, I can't sell mine just yet, because it's kind yeah, of... No, that's, that's, that's fine. But... You have, to bring it, you have to bring it to the interchange to sell it anyway. Yeah, so I think I calculated, didn't I, that a G25 mogul was 10,600. Oh, I have to repair mine first. If only I hadn't lost three hours that I could repair my car. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I have to repair it, otherwise I won't get the full sale value. 
Uh, yours is only worth 3845 Exactly. So now I need time to repair it. Oh, whatever. And we've just lost a few hours. Whatever. What do you mean, have a peek? I just checked. Oh, I yeah, of course it affects the price. That's why it says current sale value. Is it me? Or am I the only one that finds the sunrise and sunset a bit in your face? What about the rolling pink and blue clouds behind you? Oh, I didn't see those. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, the world's about to end. It's gonna swallow me whole! Like, just the sun, it's like super in your face and so bright for no apparent reason. You set your repair destination. I'm doing it. I'm just making sure. I'd hate to be accused of not reminding you. Okay, it's repairing. Now, I just want to skip a few hours whenever night gets back. He can skip an hour or two now. Yeah, but it would just, make, just it make it dark it... for him. And? Well, he's still doing driving. So will the AI if you skip time so we can earn some more money? If only I had a few hours to skip and it wasn't sunset. Oh, whatever, Paul. You're like a broken record at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just skip over what you've done to everybody. <laughs> What you've inflicted on me and night. <laughs> yeah. I could hardly see with that sunset. Got it shining in your face. It's just leaving Ella. Right, I'll be completely honest with you here, Paul. I'm really tempted to ignore that emote, but I don't want to ignore that emote. I mean... It's one of the best emotes, mate. You know what? Just ignoring it, and it's, it's just, it hurts. Oh, and Chris, you can stop laughing. You probably ain't even been here most of the day because you've been playing with your toy trains. Yeah, but th here's the thing, right? Normally he says he's been playing with his toy trains. I reckon he hasn't. I reckon he's been playing with diesel trains. No, electric. He's been playing with his electric Hornby Railway. That's what he's been doing. Are you stopping at Whitty tonight, or what's mm -hmm. the plan? Yep, I have to stop. Can we not, like, preview these trains anywhere? You should have a button here that you can just preview it. Like in Railroads Online, you can literally look at each each thing here, can't you? Lol, Ponty boy. <laughs> Supermarket streamer. Supermarket Simulator sponsored by Tesco. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a clever! I want to know who came up with that name. There isn't an in-game preview, but if you're in their Discord pool, you can see what it is. Tyrope says. <laughs> Six hundred gallon of diesel fuel, blimey. There's not an in game what? There's no in game preview, but if you're in that Discord you oh. can see what what the trains are. Gotcha. There's probably a web page that someone's done, like a wiki page.
There's 102 passengers waiting at this station. Five active freight waybills area in the area. Also, Chris, I completely love how you completely ignored where you've been the entire day. You just glossed over that subject. 82 want to go to Bryson. Bryson is that like the main trunk with you to Bryson then? Yes. Electric Fox, I don't think Paul has any plans to go to iRacing anytime soon. Problem with iRacing is the added rain. And I don't trust other drivers in the rain. <laughs> I don't trust other drivers in the in the dry pool, let alone the rain. Oh, you've been at home, Chris. So you've been watching the entire day. Uh, yeah, time up, link it. No, I've been napping. <laughs> I thought he said rapping. <laughs> He's been rapping about his toy electric combi set. Like him a Call of Duty player all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do with guns, isn't it? I'm trying my best to snipe you, but you're moving about too much. Exactly, you can't snipe this person. I'm a that bunny hopping Call of Duty player. <laughs> it's what right. they teach in the SAS. Can I, can I just please make something clear? Me and Chris, we joke about this all the time. You do not have to tell me to give the man a break. I act like I'm doing something wrong. What are we on about? Some guys like give the man a break. He just wants to play with his trains. There's no harm in that. I never said they was. It's beyond. It's just some humour. It's banter, mate. It's fine. I think me and Chris have enough banter going on to last us a lifetime. Seriously, quick railroad logistics. And not with night behind the wheel. It's not. Wow. <laughs> I had to pick up extra cargo because someone <laughs> forgot it. What are we waiting for unload? Unload, yeah. <clears throat> One carriage is done. It's all good, just don't make assumptions without knowing the facts. That's what harms people. 278 and 424, not bad, not bad. It's the best one I've seen the entire stream. <laughs> there was quite a lot that came down the longest route. I'm going to skip an hour to see if I can get this last carriage on the logging cart. Okay. Uh, St. Helena David, thank you for someone with Prime. Welcome. Yeah, I can't see anything. What's the key? There it is. It's still not filtered. L for light. Except when you're in some rail, it's like N or something. H, wasn't it? I think it was N, I think. Yes, Chris, just drop me a message and we'll sort something out.
I reckon it's N, PJ, because like in Polish, maybe the, the word for torch or flashlight starts with an N. I'm going to Google Translate that now. Does Nice have a rash or is this seat just really uncomfortable? Wait, what? I think it's because he's moving constantly. To be fair, so long as I've managed to stay in the seat, it normally jumps out. So, flashlight in Polish starts with an L. An L? Yes. What about torch? That starts with an L as well. There goes that theory. <laughs> Long crash. <laughs> to be fair, Chris, that would be quite funny. I've had enough of painting these doors. They can all just go off and sit in the garden. So when we sell a locomotive, does it sell straight away or just overnight? Uh, let me set... Oh, mine's not in the sale desk. So you have to set the sale destination. Yeah, but I don't want to set anything yet because I'm not ready yet. Oh, I've just set mine and it's not done anything because it says I need to be in the interchange. No. Oh. You are in the interchange, aren't you? No, I'm on the... So I'm on the one that's not the interchange. Well, when I hover over Squirrel 3, it says destination interchange. Yeah, that's the destination. That's where I need to go. Is that track not part of the interchange? No, that pa no, no. This is just a passing track. Mm. So it's oh, T Roach says it only happens when the at the interchange, and it's so when the interchange gets serviced. So 6 a.m. Yeah, I just need to skip a few hours in. Actually, Check on your AI if you want. I was just about to say, let me send the AI down. I'll move my train right. to the interchange. I'm on 100% now, so I can sell for maximum. I'll move mine over as well. Uh, night? Yeah. I may have... Uh, it was too close to me, I couldn't uh, change the switch. Just go all the way through. Just grab it and just go all the way through to the other end. And then you're going to have to park your carriages at the other end and then reverse your train back into the interchange for an upgrade. Yeah. All right, I'm bringing just, mine in, so where am I going? Uh, just go straight, Paul. Hang on, let me get the loan before we do anything else. During one day? Oh, we got two days. We did last time we took a loan. Thing, let me out. <laughs> it just doesn't want to be sold, Paul. That's what it is. So, have you set the sell destination? On yours, yeah. I'm just about to do. This is not. It's not sold yet. Does it sell at six a.m.? Yeah, six a.m. So, what do we do? Just wait until six a.m. and then buy the new ones. You, yeah, you're going to have to, aren't you? I don't know. Am I? Yeah, because you're not going to get the money for these until it sells. And they won't mm. sell till 6am. When we buy the new ones, they'll appear instantly, though, won't they? Yeah, they do, yes. Mine's parked up and set to sell. Can I, can I rename mine to Scroll 3 when I get my new one? Well, I want to rename it to 5, so yeah. Really like scroll free. It's done me proud. I'll keep, I'll keep two then, shall I? 
equipment, customize. DNRG step top five chime. I remember my whistle. T Web, I don't think we've got enough money without the locos being sold. Right, you want me to skip it now? Might as well. Sleepy, sleepy? Yeah, sleepy, sleepy. Nah, I've got Whee! no train left. Okay. Okay, purchase three moguls. G25 moguls, boom. Isn't that what we just had? What? No, we had G16 moguls. Oh. Jeez, man. Whoa, I want squirrel free. Do you think it's a bit bigger? <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Who's got what train? I've got number five. Got scroll free. There is just one problem. <clears throat> the car we need to top these up is right at the end of this list. Oh my god, they give you half water, half coal. Yeah, so we're gonna need. Wait, we're all coupled together. Speak for yourself. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need topping up. Paul, yeah. I don't know where you're going yet. There's no coal there, and you're going to block the way to get the coal in if you go well, there. Well, I'm not going for coal, mate, because I know there's no coal. So what I'm yep. doing is I'm pulling forward, either to go back and get the coal or to get some water. What? Well, if night reverses and then goes into the siding, I can bring the coal. That's just got delivered. Well, I can go around you guys and go and get the coal, can I? Oh, yeah, you can. So your character on my screen is not in your train. It's just stood at the side and... I'm impressed they have remote controlled trains back Are you then. supposed to get in that gap? Oh. I did. Yeah, you try doing it's moving. Oh, I didn't do it while I was moving. <laughs> oh, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? Uh, nowhere now. Paul's doing it. Actually, if you follow Paul, you can grab your... Your... Carriages, can't you, Knight? Because you're. Oh, I do need to go and get my passenger ones. I see. If you follow Paul, you can grab them. And then I can't do nothing. That's Even a half, your half tender of coal is more than the full tender you had. Yeah, but it's going to burn it more quickly, isn't it? Well, it is with me at that wheel. <laughs> Ella Farm, Ella Farm. I need all of those. So I need the three on the end. Where's the AI? Uh, the AI can stay there for a minute. I need to come and grab the three off the end so I know where I'm at. back and get my passenger cars and push back out of your way. I'm going the same direction as you, so we both need to move before Paul can move. One sec, Paul, we just need to get in behind you. <sighs> what? Fine, I'll just file my nails. Come on, thought there was only money here, but okay.
We've got 10 grand and we owe 20, so we need to get some money back. Yeah, no Interest worries. payment, 1,100 in 17 hours. So if we can get another 11 grand in the next 17 hours, we'll be fine. That should be far enough, right? Yeah, but Tyrob, how how often does it calculate the interest? In 17 hours or like every minute that we've got money owed? Right, how far back are you going? I don't know what else needs to come back, so I've moved to here. Just pull in these little carriage for now. Oh, I'll tell you what I can do while you do that. Uh, let me teleport to all these locations and grab the hit list. Like, can you go to AJ Hemingway and Bryson and put stuff on the hit list? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You love that Pups calls it a hit list. What, you mean the switch list? I always forget it's called a switch list, and I, it just sound, hit list sounds the same thing because it is stuff that you need to hit on the list. So it's like a list of people going to kill, yeah? Yes. Like a hit list. Yes. It's my hit list. I've heard uh, hitmen call it a switch list. Have you heard that? <laughs> <clears throat> See you later, Mickey. Done. Right. In a second night, you need to take the two that will be left over when I move backwards. So there's a standard oil and a hardwood that you need to take. Then I need the entirety of the middle part that's orange, and then Paul needs the, the front part. There are four coal that need to come back from the very top. Paul's got to take some up there so Paul can bring them back at the same time. Where am I going? Uh, we're both heading out to AJ. I take it that big new industry of coal is going to take a while to fill up. Right, it's ready. All four. Oh, is it really? Yeah, there's four mm. here to take up and four to bring back. Damn. Okay, I'm coming up there to a passenger run as well. I've got a load of stuff I need to move so Knight can grab his stuff. And Paul, is it easier to you, for you to push stuff up there or pull it? Uh, I mean, I, if I push it, I don't. I can just push it into place. But uh, the siding's up there. I can switch. So it's not the end of the world. So, so I can get you. It's easy enough to get you to to um um push it if needed.
Right, no, you need the two green at that end. Mm -hmm. It's a big old train, this, isn't it? This thing takes a lot of coal. <laughs> I'm not being funny. How much is that? What? You won't get that many loads to the pound out of this. <laughs> I think it's like a 12 ton tender. Bear in mind that gondola is only 48, so it's like four full cars. Yeah. Money to upgrade that one then. Is that only the two car one? Yeah, that's only two car one. Yeah, we might have to upgrade that. Can't we park two in though? I think you can. I think you could squeeze two in there. I need night to go past me first, so then I can grab mine to get out of Paul's way. The coal tower holds a hundred plus. Not this one, this is just a conveyor. Do you mean the one up at Bryson? Oh, Bryson, yeah. 8.4 tons of coal. And the thing is, it doesn't even show that it's full. It's just kind of like really misleading. Why did it stop at 8.4? No clue. If you could, once you're full, Paul, if you could refer us towards the maintenance shed so Knight can come past. Yeah, I'll see. I mean, I'll stop and fill up as well. Yeah, and then once Knight's gone, you can reverse and grab your stuff. Apparently this conveyor has a bug. Let me just double check this. Oh, is it the bug where it will stop for a minute and then start again? Because I had that, and I just thought it was a quirk of the conveyor. Hmm, it's it's filling up again now. Also, Paul, you can see when it's full, it's really difficult, but you know when you hover over it, you've got the two circles? Yeah, no, that's what I'm looking at. That's why I said it's not full. Oh, okay. It's three quarter. I just thought that was like something the conveyor did. I didn't realise it was a bug. Coal hopper unload. Cannot keep up with the ten loading of the tender, so it stops because the conveyor is empty. All right. One to be aware of. Make sure you're on 11 tons before you leave. Yeah. So much coal. Okay, full. I'm about to get out your way. Oh, the Walt might want to fill up as well. I was yeah, going to so fill up on just, Bryson. You just need to hold in there for a minute or two. How long will it take you to fill up, Paul? A couple of minutes. I mean, you can fill up at Bryson. That's the other option. Do you have enough to get to Bryson? I can either hold here or just go around off track one if you want, but I'll end up pushing then, which is probably what I want anyway, isn't it? Yeah, I just need to move my stuff out of the way first, but I couldn't until night moved. I got 5.3 tons, and with six tons, we get up and back, don't we? But this is more powerful. Yeah, Paul, if you jump onto twa track one. Tw track one. Twack, twack. Track one. I'm jumping to track one now. I, I. My brain works in mysterious ways. You need to tell us. I'll grab my stuff and move out your way. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I can pronounce ours, and then sometimes my brain just goes, I don't know. I'm just special. No. But that makes me unique. You just go full Jonathan Wass on us. Right, 
right, so what we've seen, that's our, uh, there's my coal cars. Just stop before the switch pull, because I need to pull my lot out of the way so you can push yours. Oil. I'm taking the oil as well. Uh, no, everything orange can stay with me. Because it's all around here. I need to get in behind you so you can then drive forward and grab your stuff. Is it any oh, easier to move stuff? I was going to yes. This is 400 tonnes. And in my last trade, it would take me a good couple of minutes to get up to speed. I'm already up to speed. <laughs> I like this train. The way both colours are rainbow, the warmer the colour, the more eastbound the destination. It does loop through red equals silver and Andrews. Huh. I kind of gathered that. As in, like, because it was always the orange are, like, within a mile. And then everything else is a different colour. I can't... Am I clear? Oh, no, I still need to go back. See you later, Mr. Mustang. Just stop there now. Yeah, I'm stopping. How you doing, night? Eight point five. Noise, 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 noise. Eight point five. What? Nine tons. No, that was his oh. IQ. Eight point five. I might be scared on it. Oh, so you're minus. You know you can just keep it low at night, right? I know, it just seems to kick straight back in when I do that. Oh, okay. It's stopping, doesn't it? He's still filling. He's just about done. 10.6. 10 I can't wait up. Oh, no, it's coming. 11. There we go. I'm out of here. Go, 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 go! Are you stopping at Whittier? Yes. I'll make sure you got a bypass set. Locking trains waiting for you, but I can't do anything now. But I, I told it to stop there because I could, I, I had no space for it. <laughs> do we want to pay any of this loan back? Um, I'd like to get over 10k before we pay off 10k. Okay. It won't make any difference at the moment because it only calculates interest later. Okay. As long as we do it before the 17 hours is up. Yeah, no worries.
Uh, noob AI. <laughs> Ready, Paul? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Switch done. Hang on. Well, the logging train, Tyro, comes down the hill with logs and then goes back up empty. So it doesn't really need an upgrade. Also, Knight doesn't just do packs. He takes freight up there as well. Where's the rest of these cars gone? Wasn't there four there? There's definitely more than two. They're at the other end. The other end of what? Where, you know where you put that coal? That it's just there temporary. It's next, next to those. Are these four here? Yeah. How'd they get there? I'm guessing they moved it. Is it okay? You know the fusies down at the interchange? If I move them forward a bit, because they don't need to be so far back. Yeah. Why are these cars not rolling? It's a 1.5% gradient track. Is it just the weight? No, they should just be rolling down the hill right now. That brakes leak though, bro. How do I bleed the cylinders on this? You Where's have to the, the train up. Are oh, you serious? Yeah. There's no lever to... I can pull. There is a lever, but you have to pump air into the system. No, 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 no. you don't. Really. No, you don't. What, you can't do it in this game? No, every, every car pups has a handle on it that you can pull, and it pulls the air out of the cylinder. Which then releases the brakes. I mean, like trucks got trunking, trunking mode. There you go. Bleed cylinder six. There you go. There you go. So we bleed that cylinder. That's the handle, basically. We bleed that. Bleed that. We bleed that, and it should start rolling. Hey, let's go. Just make sure my train's not doing something crazy. Where is he? Oh, is that him there at Ella? Hopefully that's set up correctly at Ella. 
You went straight through the straight through, didn't you, Ella? Uh, yeah. It should be all right. I wish you could see on that map view what the switches were doing. Uh, there's a mod for that. Squirrel the maniac letting wagons roll. I wouldn't call you know, a maniac. Um, I'm about to run somebody over. Don't know who it was. Is it number five? No, it was a person on the track. It's not me, I'm in my train. It could be me. You see, there's only one way to be seriously quick in railroad logistics, and that's to do things like this. The kind of things that your competitors don't do, we do. Safety has a price. We offer a discount. I mean, after your your derail, our, our safety is down to 40 No, that was a test. That was just purely a test. Oh, okay, okay. okay. For science. See, the only problem is I can't see what speed these cars are doing. That's the other thing you see. I'm moving logistics around at zero cost to the environment. This is 100% environmentally friendly train operations. I'm just using nature's own gravity to move the coal around. And at the other end of the map... Because <laughs> all my ground is flat, so I, ha I, I can't do that. I have to burn coal. I'm just taking advantage of the fact that it's up a hill. You mean down a hill? No, I'm saying this is up a hill. Oh, okay. It starts up a hill. Also, who says that coal? Paul is moving. Came from the earth. It could have came from the moon. <laughs> what? You never, you never know, Paul. That company. I think we do. To, I think it's safe to say, definitely did come from the earth. No, that company could be collecting coal from the moon. We have no idea. Have we ever had living animals and plankton on the moon? I reckon we have. I've seen there's transforming robots that live on the dark side of the moon. Right, so here's the problem. I've run out of gravity power, and now it wants to go back. <laughs> so that's all she wrote, folks. But, you know, we've saved a bit of movement. So, uh, don't, don't you have to take the empty ones up there? Well, I was hoping to get it to the passing loop. That was the problem. And now ah, I found okay. out that I can't. I was hoping to stop it at the passing loop and just sail past it. But my plan, my plan didn't happen. Sounds like a skill issue, you know? I don't know about you. Well, go up there and sort it out if you've got the skill. I'm too busy down here. Oh, friend. is that what it is? It's not a lack of skill. Yeah. No, I'm just too busy with other things. Yeah, yeah. Like, not only train driving, but keeping you on schedule. Getting your stream times out there. Like, AI doesn't do that. A puppy does. Chas, I think Pops wants you to um, give him a little stroke and a cuddle for how amazing he is. I am amazing, you're correct. He wants a little puppy treat. Does he want a bonio?
To be honest, Matty, I'd rather you send me that than I am, bro. I'd rather have a bony other than I am, bro. I, I, I got sent some for my birthday last year. I tried it and was like, nope. I thought Matty sent you some. That was, yeah, that's why I mean. Matty sent me some. I tried it and was like, nope. Matty was so secretly hoping you'd be like, oh, that's actually really nice. And then he sent me some Iron Brew flavoured sweets, which wasn't actually Iron Brew flavoured. They was actually Paprika flavoured. Oh, what? Paprika. Pa paprika? Paprika, yeah. Pat. Pa pat paprika. paprika? Who's Paprika? Yep. Pa I don't know her. Pa pa paprika. 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 Oh, leave me alone! Pat Rika flavor. Yeah. Oh, this is just impossible trying to get on this thing. I'll just stand there. Oh, yeah, the hat no. Matty, what was that other thing you sent me, which was basically 100% sugar? Bag of sugar? No! It was some Scottish thing, and I tried literally the smallest amount and nearly threw up. That was it, Matty. Condensed milk, sugar, and butter. What was that called? A tablet. Condensed milk, sugar, and butter. That sounds very sweet. If he ever offers you one, Paul, just say no. <laughs> I ended up throwing mine in the bin. <laughs> I tried it, like the smallest amount, and I was like, no, I can't do this. To be honest, it does sound like fudge. I did enjoy the sweets though, that he sent me. That were a certain flavouring. more grainy. I don't know. It just sounds very similar to fudge. I can eat fudge. I couldn't eat that. Oh, no. I'm, I'm with you, Chris. The coffee rebels can just do one. Well, I don't know what that is. Have you never had a bag of rebels? No. If you can't get one from the uh, shop. Wait, is it chocolate? Obviously. And then, no, I don't eat chocolate. That's why I don't, probably never heard of it. When was the last time you tried chocolate? Even as a kid, I didn't like chocolate. I didn't ask you that. Um, See, I didn't like cauliflower as a kid, but now I do. Your taste you know, change. But, yeah, but I have enough sugary things in my life. So, when was the last time you tried chocolate? Probably as a kid. It, just, it depends what you want to send, Matty. I think you should send him a bag of Rebels, Matty. Actually, yeah, I think you should do that. I think you should try dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Because they all oh, taste very different. So I do what them wine wine uh, tasters do? Like write an article with words that no one cares about. Is oh. Pops non UK? No, I am from the UK. Well, he's from Essex, which is borderline what? part of the Here UK. Okay. Does that mean you're currently borderline not living in the UK? Yeah.
Essex is going to Brexit soon. <laughs> I'm not from Essex, no. I live in Essex, I'm not from Essex. I mean, you might as well be. How many years you've been there now, Paul? You might as well just be. Oh, really? You say I should just be a northerner because I live up north. Well, how many years have you lived up north? Coming up ten. Okay. That's, more than, that's more than half your life. How many years have you lived in Essex? Wait, more than half my life. I'm... Hey, you just, did you hear the penny drop then? Did you hear that? <laughs> it was like, I was like, ka -ching. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second for my brain. I know. Brain to get I jumped. literally heard your brain compute that. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's a bit laggy occasionally, okay? <laughs> so, so how long have you been in Essex? Uh, oh, man. Um... Hmm. That long, he don't even know. I'm trying to think exactly when I moved them. It was last, last month, I think. <laughs> okay, sure. Something tells me you don't believe me. I don't believe you, Paul. No, Canterbury Uni is nowhere near Essex. Last month. You've just been there, down there a good few years, right? In ten, ten years or so, or more, right? Oh, easy, yeah. Well, that's more than half your life, considering you're only 21. See, even Nut Slammer knows it's more than half your life. Why is Essex such a me? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to come here to find out. There's a good few reasons why it's a me. Yeah. I mean, I remember coming down from the north to the south, and even then I remember people telling me about Essex. Essex is not a me. Yes, it is. <laughs> it literally has its own, like, set of memes about things that happen in Essex. In certain parts of Essex, they think they're Hollywood. You go on the Kawasaki bike to me. What at um, Canterbury? a long drive. Right. Well, it depends if he takes mo like a ferry for most of it. <laughs> like, is he driving all the way down to France and then taking a ferry, or is he taking a ferry from Finland all the way over to yeah. Harwich and then driving to Canterbury? Uh, 
Uh, simulators, thank you for 99 months, sir. One month away. Can't remember after, but yes, South End is in Essex. South End? South End, mate. A South End. That's good, South right? End. South End. They're still doing the air show, though. Uh, I think they stopped it a few years ago. Platten still does one, I think. Oh, nice. Do I have Finland to Sweden to Denmark to Germany to France? Okay, so you're doing it the proper way. Fair enough. That's a long, long ride. Wow, Chris, I can't believe Nuts that would just hate you for putting MP. <laughs> That's just crazy. It's because it's a percentage, isn't it? Yeah, I need an AI bot that can actually understand things properly. I think Konyo's names are all in caps as well. Yeah, that doesn't That's help. what it is. Just put some emotes after it. Doesn't look good with lower caps. You don't have to do it all lower caps, Conio. You could put like capital C and then lowercase O N and then a capital N in the middle and then a lowercase N E and then a capital O. So you'd have a capital C and an O on the end and the N in the middle. That's okay. Or quite funky. We should get Pups a packet of the bean boozle candy beans, as he'll love them. Scruffle scritch. Scritch. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. What's Bean Boozled Candy Beans, Dave? Yeah, that's the one I was telling you about yesterday, Paul. Oh. The Jetty Bean game. Gotcha. Let me see. Yeah, it didn't say Squirrel Rage very well, did it? I think there is a Harry Potter version of that, yeah. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Have you played KSP? Of course I have. I streamed KSP 1 and 2, made videos on KSP 1. KSP, not KFC.
Just go to Scroll Plus. There's a playlist there on Paul, on Paul's KSP stuff. So been any talking about KSP? Has there been mm. any big updates to number uh, KSP two? Uh, I've not really checked it to be honest. I just don't get how we can be coming from the coal mine and then going back uphill at this bit. It's just so weird. I know they improved the performance, Matty, because last time Paul played it, it was running a lot faster. I think people are waiting for a lot of the sign stuff to drop and the... Obviously, you've got the interplanetary stuff later. What have they yeah. called it? I want to get the game, but I want to wait for it to be an actual game. Play KSP one, you can get it cheap. True. It's got a million mods. <laughs> Just don't build things that are too complex because the physics will break down. I don't think my brain has enough capacity to do that, Paul. Yeah. I've seen games like that before, Dave. Talking about um, stuff, the latest, well, the newest snow monarch runner map should have been pushed onto public test this week. Mm -hmm. Is that a big one? Yeah, I haven't checked. I only saw a YouTube video on it announcing that it was going to be on public test. I haven't, I don't even know if I have the public test installed. I know from the um, picture they put in the Discord that it said there's a giant quarry, quarry, right, on it. Can't remember what they're calling it either. I've completely forgotten that. Last update to KSP2 was the 30th of January. Jeez, that's like over three months ago. What are they doing? Yeah. Not to sound horrible to ETS2. I don't see why people are so excited about having the Scania factory in the game. It's been in pro mods for, for years. Yeah. It like, literally has. I don't get why they're making such a big like, deal out of it. I went to the Scania factory in 2015, drove around that track in a truck, and then pro mods released it, I think, the year after, and I drove all around it in ETS2. And that was 2016. It was eight years ago. <laughs> Not going to lie, Paul, I watched them videos the other week. <laughs> Did you really? Yes, if you go around the sky, no. there's still great videos to watch. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good, uh, good time. But I don't get why people are getting that excited about something that we've had access to for a long time. Driving along and the sun suddenly appeared behind my train. 
No, I've not changed the time. Uh -huh. It's just so weird. Oh, don't think so, Connie. I think there's always a new stream of players coming through playing the game. But you know, when you've played it for enough years, you've pretty much done everything. And it's like even with the new DLCs and map DLCs, you've already done it because you've done it in pro mods. I can't remember ETS when the mod scene was just prolific. There was just mods coming out all the time. Trucks, maps, God knows what else. There was multiple maps. Trucks have been updated constantly. And a lot of the modders just, after a few years, were like, eh. <laughs> went on and did something else. There's a lot of trucks on the forums that are just no longer updated because the mod has just moved on. weird the way they this place consumes the car fills it with coal and moves it further down the siding the only place so far that does it right? exactly Yeah, people do club villain. You started snow on your hate starting map. Oh yeah, it's I agree. It's a weird starting map. Just go into the I and I file, we'll just set everything to true and it will all be unlocked. Lol. Do you mean, Connie, or big things coming? Tell you what, with this sawmill on no. tier five. The sawmill Sorry. what? The sawmill is now on tier five. Right. And I can just about fit all of the carriages it spawns <laughs> into the sawmill. <laughs> oh, this is going to get worse. Probably just leave it at tier five then. Until we can cope with it. Like, it's just that the sidings at the sawmill are not big enough. Uh, yes, sorry it did, Wendy. That's my bad. 21 months. Uh, thank you for all you do. Also, love you, puppy mate. There you go, you got a fan pups. Oh, what, what? Thank you, Wendy. Tier 5 sawmill's going to eat 30 cars worth of logs daily. How many have you got? Not 30. Not that many logs. <laughs> Not 30. I think that should be our next target is to get another AI train on the go. Hmm. The problem with that is it's a single track up there, isn't it? 
Yeah, but if I set it up properly, so when one is down here unloading and the other one's up there loading, I can cross them over without getting each other's way because the one that's currently is at the furthest loading point and the new one will be at the closest loading point. En route to Hemingway. Okay. You just Hemingway or you going past Hemingway? I can't go all the way up to AJ, but I can stop at Hemingway like last time. Okay. Well, I'll Wait be coming down there shortly with some stuff. My first version of ETS2 was, um, I think I bought it directly from them. It was only later I got it on Steam. That is correct. Perhaps I have a question for you. Why don't you have a live stream? Because I don't. Simple as that. Um, I guess so, Conio. <clears throat> it's all about logistics and moving stuff around, yeah. But at least you could do it multiplayer. Okay, if I skip an hour of time, just to get this AI last two carriages on. Fine by me. Mhm. Mm I thought I'd ask instead of being moaned at. Right, coming down towards Hemingway. Okay, I'm just getting to the 30s and the 20, and the 25. You might get there before me. Which side of the loop do you want to go on? I need to be on the main line because that's where the. Um, you need to keep left on it. Coming down, yeah, because that's where the thing is. I believe. that mine as well yeah so mine will keep left and you also put you to the left okay and i've burnt through a quarter of the coal in the tender this thing you eats coal you, coal. you eh? say i eat it oh you know. You've used more than me. I've been up a big hill, mate. I'm on oh, line point three. Tell me that switch is set. Oh, it is. Oh, I nearly sent the AI the wrong way. <laughs> Wouldn't it just stop? No, because it would have gone through uh, Whittier. 
Into it. Next one. Like my line's not connected. No, it's not. I'm stream sniping you. Work out where it's not connected. That's so uh, weird. So the first carriage and the last carriage, need, the last carriage you need to close the valve, and the first one it says is not. It's really hard to see, but there is an exclamation mark where below your scroll five, where you can see what ones are. I've noticed that as well. I just see your stream, you trying to click it. It don't always work. You can't click, you have to hold and pull it over. It's weird. And sometimes it doesn't give you the option until you get out and go to it like you've just had to. It's still showing that there's something. So looking, at, it's the end of the first cart. Just so bizarre. If that makes sense. I think something was wrong, but now it's fixed. Literally turned it off and on again. <laughs> As long as it's working. There are empties on line three at Bryson, just so you know. Okay. Uh, Burgess, I don't know why it'd be like that. There's a shift click on the hoses, so. Because all three lines are going to be occupied in a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Who's going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way for with you. Are you eating your Ritz biscuits? Nope. He hasn't got any. <laughs> He's eating them all. Ritz crackers with cottage cheese on top is nice.
you come around this bend before the horseshoe curve and you feel the gradient just tip down like it plunges you into this horseshoe of a 25 yeah. limit it just wants you to fail Oh, isn't cheese whiz that American cheese that isn't actually cheese? I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. I thought so. What do you mean it's not cheese? But it comes in like, how do I explain what it comes? A squeeze of, like it's like a toothpaste tube. Oh, I know. It's like heavily processed cheese. Yeah. Hmm. No thanks. I can't stand that kind of stuff. Exactly. It's just like plasticky and it smells, it's horrible. Cheese and name only. You shouldn't be allowed to call it cheese. Tell you what, it saved a lot of coal on the way back down. <laughs> Type been on a giant water slide. Lol. Travelling back to the interchange, but via Bryson to pick up some stuff. Is there any stuff at the um, the oil place as well? No, it was drop off only.
Your next eclipse is in 2026 and then 2196. <laughs> Still shunting wittier pups. Yep. What are you eating? A bag of smoky bacon Walker's crisps. Five dollars for four fares? What the heck, man? That only came from Alaka Junction as well. Just not even pay for the water, never mind the coal. I think I'm going to have fish cakes for tea, though. I had fish cake for um, my lunch. Right, I'm just grabbing these cars at Bryson. Okay. What's a fish cake? Um, how would you describe a fish cake? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think how would you describe a fish cake? It's sort of fish meat in a burger style thing, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also with mashed potato. It's not just 100% fish. Yeah. It, it is like burger shaped, but it's basically fish and stuff inside and like breadcrumb on the outside usually. It's really nice. I quite often have it in a sandwich as a replacement for fish fingers. Yeah, fish down our fingers. Hello? Hey! The Brits eat weird stuff. Okay. Do we eat frogs' legs? Or snails? Yeah, or snails. I mean, go to Taiwan and look at the stuff they eat and come back and tell me that we eat weird stuff? <laughs> also, I'd love to know where you're from. Oh, no, he's Australian. Oh, yeah, because the Australians don't eat weird stuff like kangaroo. I mean, if you eat kangaroo, you do get to jump higher. Hey! Is that how it works, is it? Yeah, you know. Eat certain things, makes you see better in the dark. And then so, Dysanator says croc is actually really nice. <laughs> Because we're the weird ones, Paul, for liking fish cakes. To be honest, I, I'd probably try croc meat just to see what it was like. It probably tastes like chicken. It's not like anybody ever said, oh, don't kill those poor crocodiles. <laughs> just like beef. There you go. Is it? I thought it was white meat, though. I would have thought croc meat was white meat. So 
Someone says it's beef, and then someone says it's a lot like chicken. Yeah. And it is white meat. So it can't be like beef then, can it? It's white, but the taste is similar to beef. So can you, in that case then, can you have it like you have beef, where you have it medium rare, rare, well done? Can you do that kind of thing with it? Crocodile burger from the captain and the cook. People often ask, what does crocodile taste like? As I mentioned, the flavour is delicate. It's a little like a cross between a chicken and a fish. I think the texture of crocodile is more like a fish than a chicken. However, it is a little firmer than a fish. Literally no mention of beef in that sentence. <laughs> See, I would, I would imagine it's a bit more fishy because obviously this thing lives in the water, although be it fresh water. Are you sure you had crocodile darts on at all? They might have been lying to you. Crocodile meat is high in protein and low in fat and cholesterol. In fact, it has more protein than a chicken breast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan of calamari. I found a recipe for tasty crocodile burgers. <laughs> All you need you now need, is a crocodile. You need 500 grams of crocodile tail meat. <laughs> okay. One tablespoon of sesame seeds toasted, one tablespoon of ginger, two tablespoons of honey, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. To serve, you need four hamburger buns, an avocado, a lettuce, and a tomato. <laughs> and you can make boots out of them. Yep, that's true. Forty-three passengers at uh, Bryson. At uh, Bryson. Mm-hmm. Hundred and sixteen of which want to go to Whittier. Yeah, it's just a Bryson to Whittier run, isn't it? I reckon that's a candidate to automate that one. looks chilled. Yeah, it's just driving trains, isn't it? In it, bro. It's actually struggling a bit, this thing. 500 tons 500 tons 0.8% gradient or 1.2 on that side
the thing is, from... right, for... sorry, Paul, go on. when you get passenger runs that go really far from the east to the west, you've got to take them down the same line as you're taking everything else. You can't make like a high speed passenger line with a freight siding. It's just going to become a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Because the whole point of PAX is they want to get there quickly and you don't want to get held up by freight. How are you going to make it happen when large parts of this is single track? I mean, don't forget, these guys are happy to sit in a carriage overnight. Well, you have got the observation lounge, so... I presume it has beds and kettles. Right. You're leaving 18 passengers behind. Be happy when I see the back of Woody. <laughs> I'm stuck moving stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a shunting operation that one. Best bit is I've still got three carriages that need to go to Ella. Really? Just, yeah, that are just stuck on a curve because I can't move them yet because I need to finish this place first. What stuck at Woody? Yeah, until I move all of these and put these where they need to go. Cargo goes early and late, passengers midday. Yeah, I suppose you could break them up like that. Send your packs later when you're not doing your freight. Although, if the passengers build up too much at the station, they'll they'll cap out to a maximum. In this game is the opposite. Freight has a deadline. Packs need to go at some point to the right. So that's weird, Tyro, because that goes against the traditional take your passengers, move your freight to one side. I'm just skip that out. But that implies, Tyrope, that if you take passengers more quickly, you won't get paid any more money because they just want to go today. Like, there's literally no point in having a fast locomotive for the PAX. PAX is just repping money, no real timetable. Meh. It'll probably change at some point, it'll be more good. I am coming down from Ella to Whittier. Um, yes. Where do you need to go? I'm going back to the interchange. Oh, there's um, a car here that needs to come back to the interchange. Come stop here and grab that. It's already on the main line. It's not. There's a car on the siding here. Oh, no, just leave that there at Ella, Paul. I've got three to go up there. But there is, as you come through Whittier, there is a carriage on the main line that needs to go to the interchange. Okay. Because I just had to park it there while I moved these three trains, carriages back into where they need to go. You can load a, a car on day one in Whittier and deboard them at Silver on day 100 and they'll pay the same as the passenger who boarded earlier on day 100. That's... Makes no sense. We have seven hundred dollars. Woo! Let's go with millionaires. So we will be charged nine hundred dollars in fourteen hours. Hang on a minute. Didn't we just pay like a lot of that loan off? Wasn't the interest payment like eleven hundred before, or was it seventeen hundred? Uh, I don't remember to be honest. I feel like we paid half the loan back, and the interest has only gone down a little bit.
Yeah, but it can't be 10% of the loan. Because 10% of the loan is $100. And it's charging us 900 These telegraph wires are very close to the track. And they're also very thick and black. Right, I am not far off making the final turn to Whittier. What's the deal? I'm just grabbing the three carriages that need to go up to Ella, but they're, like I said, there's still one on the main line that needs to go back to the interchange. It's just before you start the turn to go onto the interchange line. You're, you're clear on track one. what you do with them three you're going to pull them and forward you, into a yeah i'm going to pull them forward so i'm out your way and then the one that's to the right of me or the left of me on your screen i'm not sure needs to go to the interchange okay if you pull forward and come into that inside track the left keep left though you'll be yeah, fine because yeah. i'm keeping left coming your way. i'll throw the switch as soon as i'm through so you don't have to oh, actually it won't matter because you're pushing it if you go now, you can get into the left side. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. We've got lasagna and cheesy garlic bread for dinner. <laughs> Italiano. How about to unite? Just arriving in Ella. Oh, I'll have to wait here for you to come past things and they pass and loop. Well, I can wait here. I agree, Kev, they are a bit short, aren't they? Is it very tasty, Evan? Well, you waiting there, Knight? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going to have battles and forwards shunting to do, so it's better for me to wait here. Yeah. I'm going to have to get there, unhook these carriages, and then go to the next switch and reverse back to get behind them, in essence. Yeah, that's what I mean. Pushing them. Well, you've got... The switch set to go to the right. Okay, thank you. Once you've gone through, I'll drop the passengers and pick up and then go. Thank you. I think the handbrake is on that one as well, Paul. When you look at the controls for a, a loco, there's cutout and MU, what's that? I don't know. Does MU mean if you've got more than one locomotive, you can control both? It's part of a multiple unit. But what does cutout mm -hmm. mean? Cutout applies the brake completely and stops the train. It's like emergency brake. 
basically. They're better with a button, wouldn't they? Just emergency but, but, um, If you select MU, it also ticks cut out. I would have thought M U. Just the crew as M U. If you look up the uh, engine master. Oh, okay. So you would say if you had two locomotives on one Panzer, you would cut out one of them. Coming around the thirty nine. This one's a particularly difficult one to do. So this could go horribly wrong. I wish you all the best. Right, did you say you threw the switch on me? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm trying to do a triple. That works out alright. Like a glove. How's the AI getting on? Two carriages still need loading. That's glovage. <laughs> That's twice you've done that now. <laughs> That's glovage, that is. This one's a bit hard as a judge, though, because this is really heavy. Yeah. I'm doing 55 passengers in. Noise. Noise. And all your carriages are full. Yep, that's what we've got on board. Hey, Kekula. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Right. Do you need any help up at Ella or anything, Pumps? Um, I don't know. I've got to push one in. Then reverse back out and then grab the other two. 
It's just a load of backwards and forwards. You could see if the AI is done, though. Mm -hmm. He's only got one. Can I skip an hour? Yeah. You got one log in that one hour. Yeah, he's literally getting one log an hour, this guy. So I have to skip two more hours to get him full. Everybody, yeah, on? Everybody okay with that? Yeah. As long as it doesn't get to 6 a.m. before I deliver deeds, it's fine. Like the toot of excitement. <laughs> uh, I've got to move four more carriages and then I'm done at this end. Okay. I am on approach to Whittier. Yeah, skipping time doesn't affect the uh, loading of coal and water, unfortunately. Nor does it make trains move any quicker. This version is quite close in context to that one, but it's darker. It follows the story quite close to the old version, but it's produced with contemporary cinematography and direction. 40 years later, much improved. Okay. Was that on Netflix, on Amici? Can't remember where it was. How many episodes is it? Oh, Disney there's Plus. A, Scumbag. There's an oil up here as well. Waiting. There wasn't when I went past. I think it's because oh, I've skipped time. Probably, yeah, I was going to say, it's probably just ticks over. Yeah. It was definitely clear when I went past. The ones at the sawmill don't worry if they tick over. It's easier just to do them in the one go. Seven episodes. You're gonna be at wet here. Uh, who are you talking to? Vulcan number two. It's just started unloading passengers, and I might as well pick up this oil. Okay. I'll be here for a bit. Eight episodes on a mission. Cool. Good night, Goody.
Right, I'm just going to look for a bio break. Roger. It's getting better. Before long, you'll need another carriage. Well, I have left passengers behind. Just buy one more. Paul's not here. Just sell his uh, loco and see if he notices. <laughs> Just say the chair did it. Is back. Welcome back. Now, why would Nerd HP say do it? I wonder. Because he says random stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's up for a bit of trolling any time, so I reckon there was a bit of troll suggestion going on. No, I. I'll be honest. I told Knight to buy another carriage. That was it. I don't think that would get him excited. I mean, Knight did suggest the idea of selling your train while you were... Wow! Working. That's more like it. God, you don't even have a spine, do you, pups? Oh, yeah, because you've never dobbed me in before. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, friend, you've never dobbed me in before. Oh, wait. Yes, the pair of you have. Mwah. That's weird. Say I just paid a grand and it came down 20 quid. That seems broken. It was definitely weird. It's as if it has calculated loan interest up to the point where I've paid some back.
So when can we upgrade that coal, please? What one? Uh, oh, the one where you've been delivering the wagons? Yeah, it says tier one at the moment. Uh, Maybe tomorrow? 24 hours after it. So I reckon tomorrow we can upgrade Robinson Gap yeah. Coal. And then I can take up loads of coal. I'm on my way back with my stuff. Okay, yeah, logs are unloading. Roger. So you're like me, night, you used half your water. I've used roughly half as well. Hmm. You're gonna fly shunt that barrel in. Yeah, Tampa. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the brakes instead of putting the power on. See, the old pup is getting the hang of it. Once he gets his braking right, he's fine. Wait, what have I done now? Nothing. You haven't done anything. That's the problem. Top. I ain't even going to dignify that with a, with a response. Oh. Matthew, 1984, thank you for half a year. Now, Knights, the real test is can you get the braking bang on? I'm just going to crash. <laughs> no. It's the answer to that. <laughs> Where are you, pups? Uh, coming round the bend. Coming round the mountain? Yeah. Going through Whittier. Hang on, stay put then. I've changed the track in front of you so I can go onto the one to the right of you. Do you not need to load up on coal and water tonight? Well, yeah, but if he's coming hurtling you down... You go first, you go first, because I'm going to have to slow down to fly shunt this anyway. So I can just stop. That's up to you, or I can do it after you've no, done your bit. Do just do it, so we're ready to go in the morning. I wish you could add bits of track. I wish you could buy like pieces of track because I'd add one from lane track one back over into the siding. Yeah, I saw a uh, a mod that added a bit of a passing track at where where there's some single track. That's because Chris, you probably didn't read the schedule. Hello, Chris. <laughs> I am. That gondola of coal is already half done. I think we are going to have to get the big one. Um, pups. I know. What? Are you, what is your problem? Well, I was going to go forward. 
reverse onto the main line, but obviously not now. Not a problem. I mean, I can just go forward. Well, the problem with you is I didn't know whether you were going to stop. You didn't say anything. So how was I meant to know what you wanted to do? It should be a mind reader, Pops. I have many things, but that isn't one of them. Thank God. Thank you for 83 months, Navarine. Also, I just realised it'd probably be quicker for me to just do this because I spend my time down here anyway. Just don't forget to get coal and water in the morning. Yeah, I like, that's what I mean. I spend my time down here anyway, so I go past that thing multiple times. Might as well skip time a bit. Go for it. We might be able to send the AI back up. That was my thinking. It's unbelievable how much coal these things use. Yeah. I'm about halfway on coal. That's weird, because, like, Knight and I have only used a little bit. Yeah, but mm. uh, you're forgetting. I had to, like, have my power on to shunt constantly for, like, 45 minutes. Sounds like excuses to me. Yes. Funny enough, that's what somebody says to him when we play SnowRunner. He'll say, it just sounds it's always exclusive to you, isn't it? from the switch yeah but did you move the fusey up because nope. all of a sudden he just literally can't go back enough i'm sure that fusey used to be down near the maintenance yard here yeah but why does he need to go further back because his train is too long to fit I just need to go forward because use the inside lane rather than the left at main line well okay that works now but You know, if you had something coming down there, but that's fine. Go I can way. move them back a bit more. I just moved them up because when I was down here, it was like... It's such about a three car difference. Yeah, I'll move it. The night can whoever's right there running around like a headless chicken. Oh, that's Paul. <laughs> it's been it's extinguished. Really it just needs lying again. <coughs> there you go. Right about there. It likes I only moved it because it's only normally me down here. You're not thinking of the big picture? That is a big picture. I do all the work. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to very quickly be up, eh? Mm. 
He's just going off laughing. He's just adding me to his hit list. I think it's 32 people in the server. It is, but they recommend 16. So the question yeah. is, do we now just sit here and wait for him to get up there so that he generates logs, or do we skip that's what, time? That's what I was just about to ask. 16, not 60. One six. Half of 32, sir. Uh, I say we just skip. Because otherwise we're all just going to be sat here for like 10 minutes while he goes up a hill. Okay, we just got charged 880 in interest. The next loan payment is in four days of 880. So we are being completely ripped off. Right. Yes. Why does that pink just completely go day glow? Look at that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You're never going to lose the carriage. Jeez, man. It's back. Right, Yasne Tamov. Mov? Because we can't get out. Up, down, left, right. All right. So the four on the back are yours, Paul. Which I'm just about to move into another lane for you. Four coal, Holyfield heating. That's Whittier, isn't it? As is Stenzel. Whittier so the sawmill. So the three at the front and the four at the end need to be taken by you two. Um, Everything else is mine. Relation hardwoods is a pain. Bryson team. That's uh, up at Bryson. Well, I gotta go all the way up to Gaza, isn't it? What's on the empty list? The hit list. You got a whole Nothing. bunch of empties over here at Whitty and Interchange. Well, things that need moving. Yeah, it's all my stuff. Like five there. Oh, night. While I move these, can you quickly put stuff on the hit list? Cool. Oh, I've moved forward out your way. Uh, you need to push these, don't you, Paul? Uh, I will be pushing them. I'm going to go around the back now. So I was going to say, you need to go onto the the uh, track one and come all the way back again. Why, are you blocking the siding? No, all my trains are. I oh, know you can go through the siding, yeah, ignore me. And then I'll push these onto the main line for you so you can push them. Right, Knight, are you taking the ones at the front? I have no clue, mate. Uh, the track is that long currently, but you can expand it with industry and stuff all the way down to Andrews. Oh yeah, and over to the interchange. need help with the hit this night. Just do this stuff by you. Okay. Right. So everything at the far end? Yeah, so you've got the coal. Coal's come back in. Yep. There's one thing at Bryson. Something just outside of with you, but that's huge. Yeah. So it's just whether you want to take these three night. And if so, do you want to be pushing them? 
pushing it there because it means I can um, just right. drop the passenger carts off whilst I carry while I do that. Yeah, no worries, that's fine. Let me grab these and put them out your way. Right, you good there, Paul? Yeah, I got my cars on the way. Sounds good. At night, if you start reversing around the carriages, I'll set the switches for you. And by the time you get here, I should have these pushed out the way. Or pulled out the way. Yeah, I do rub, that was a good game. Wish we had a different map for it. Don't overtake me night, otherwise that's a bit problem. <laughs> Stopping for a second. Nice. All good. There was a section I forgot to check. That's fine. I need to go back quite a bit so you can get in. Problem is, is there enough track for me to go back far enough? Should be fine there. Okay. All right, Ella doesn't have anything that needs picking up. Oh, I should see if we can upgrade your one now, can't I? No, I still can't upgrade it. How many trains can you run at one time? What do you mean as a driver? Or in your roster?
Stop confusing me, pups. What do you mean? I started moving off and all of a sudden I saw an orange thing coming past me. <laughs> I was thinking I picked up something else. Sorry. Well, you have a railroad company that has, like, locomotives in it, and then anybody that's in the server can jump into the different trains and operate them. So I just left the AI driving one and have jumped in another to do some shunting. All right, there's a car at Bryson ready to go out. Yeah, there's one up at Hardwoods, and then it's just your coal things. That was all that was up there. Memory. For now. Uh, tankers look okay for now. Yeah, tankers were fine. Although one was, is about to trip. It was the bit at the end, that the bit at the top that you don't like. But like, it was the easy one to get out, actually. If we skip time by an hour or two, that middle oil tanker would become ready. Uh, an Appalachian, yeah, there's one to pull out of there as well. Should all be on the hit list. Yeah, I've got the replacement for that. Actually, that's quite useful doing that, because I can see what the AI is doing. The AI is coming down the mountain. That's weird. That one's empty, but it's not marked as return yet. Oh, there it is. Literally just flipped. You'll have to go to the local depot and then put that on the hit list. You can just tick on the switch list, can't I, like that? Yeah. Oh, for, yeah, I forgot you can do it like that. I really should concentrate on doing hmm. Just driven straight past the, train, the passenger. You know, I reckon it'd be useful to have another shunting loco up at Appalachian. Yeah. Because, like, times like this, I could jump into that, pull those cars out, get that tanker out, and just pull them all up to Bryson. In theory, I could use the one up at Bryson and go down there. And then put it back. not worth it now because this guy's not that far away. Why have we not got anything to go down to Brooks yet? What's Brooks all about? Whoa. Is there even anything there? Look like it. Apart from a very steep bend and a canyon drop. Yeah, I can't see any industry. Maybe we have to develop an industry around here somewhere. What's a nice lakeside view?
by the book whistling and bell. It's the stuff up the coal mine to bring back, you know. Yes. Or again, I think it was. I feel like we've had that contract for more than 24 hours and I still can't upgrade it to TT. Mm, it's weird, isn't it? That is definitely weird. I've noticed the wheel animation doesn't animate until you get closer on the camera and then it starts spinning. Yeah, uh, yeah. But when you stand just a few meters back, it just stops. It's like they need to adjust that. Because it's completely visible and not moving. It's probably a performance thing back when they first released the game, they just haven't bothered to update. Mm. Need to adjust it. Did a quick search. It is one level per three days, but you can start on tier three if your reputation is at max. Or well, we're at 92%, I think. So it's three days before we can upgrade that. Blimey. So Tyro lied, didn't he? Because he said one day and then three days for any others. We're not listening to him anymore. Yeah, rubbish. Or he just had a better reputation than we did. No, because he said you guys, so just Sam. Um... Maybe they hadn't anticipated the educational uh, tests that we do. <laughs> Just don't listen. I didn't even say anything. Don't blame me or drag me into that conversation. I'll ban you, Chris. Tyrup's not in chat, so we can't defend himself. <laughs> Whereabouts is your main engine? That was stopped. I mean, never room. We could always not just listen to you by timing you out for the rest of the stream. Just saying. You like flexing, don't you, pups? I don't know. He's saying we should ignore. We I should know, but you, do, you just like threatening people with timeouts and bans. Like, you like flexing. Oh, we could just time you out for the rest of the stream, you know. I mean, he's telling people to ignore me so I can get people to ignore him just as easily. What comes around goes around. If you're going to dish it, learn to take it. That's what it is, Imp. He thinks he's that hard geezer. Pops, you reckon you could run a marathon from the top to the bottom of Africa? If there was a kebab along the way. What, so you're saying if we do the greyhound thing with you, just get a stick yes. and put a kebab at the end yes. of it and just hold it in front of you, you'd just run after it constantly? Yes. Fact see, Fuzzball and Chris agree with me. Sound advice. I managed to get this thing further this time by not breaking. <laughs> it's like competition every time you go it out is. there. Now. I was wondering how far I could push it. And I've got it almost to the junction, which is good. However, it is an uphill gradient now. No, it's all I'm going to say, if I could ban freely, you'd be the first person I would ban.
Oh, of course he stopped there. The hardest name in Newcastle. I don't live in Newcastle. Wait, why did he stop there? Fusey? Is there... Oh, there's a Fusey here? Why is there a Fusey there? Can we, get... Yeah. Can we get rid of that? Yeah. The hardest gnome in redacted. He sat clear. How do we just remove the fusey? Uh, just just click on it. Click it. Mm. There's me looking for a hot key. Love this game. Put torpedoes in. <laughs> what? Little packets of gunpowder used to signal rail crews that there's danger ahead. Oh my god! Just admit, that's that's something. Well, that is a game that we used to play that just did that and took away from the entire concept of the game and the name. You don't actually need the fuses for the passengers. It actually does stop at... In fact, it stops at passenger stations automatically. That must be new to it. Never used to. Mm, yeah, I was going to say. I don't remember ever doing that. Must have been an update along the line. The AI is unloading. There's a guy who magnet fishes in Northampton finds a lot of used ones in the canals and rivers. Those people that do that kind of thing go magnet fishing and metal detector hunting, like, they must find 99% rubbish. And then yep. every now and again they get something interesting. I saw one guy, I, I think it was a YouTube, yeah, it was a YouTube video of a guy magnet fishing. And whatever he had hold of was that heavy. As there was a fire crew coming past, it was like, we can just attach it to our winch and winch it up for you if you want. And they stopped the road to help this random person winch up whatever they found at the bottom of a river. Yeah. 
And the thing is, anything that you find under British law is owned by the landowner. So if you go on somebody's land and find something worth millions, it's his. And you have legal obligation to do declare it. Yep. So you just think, well, is it even worth doing? I sent you a message, by the way. Oh, yeah. Just send us a message. I ain't gonna ask no, you one. can be done. sent him one. What's so special wow. about him? We're not your friends anymore. Is that what it is? Wow. Can you believe, Pops? Shocking, isn't it? There just, you go. I sent you, I sent you the same in. message. No, it's all right. I'm, I'm just going to... And you. And you, Knight. I'm just going to send him a message. <laughs> you do that? Yeah. There you go. I've sent him a message. There you go. I didn't Good send you. you one. I didn't send I you the same one, though. <laughs> so childish. You're, oh, you're welcome, Imp. An imp sent Matty a message. <laughs> Oh, I'll get a room, you two. See you later, firefighter. See ya. Ah. Hmm, will that squeeze through that gap, I wonder? Let's find out. For science. Actually, might not. That's going to be close. It's going to be very it's close. That's fine. There's a bit of scrape of the paint. Get a bus down there.
have sent this guy down the wrong track. We should have sent him that way. Now I've got to pull him back and push him forward. See what needs moving. Uh, the top right is already done. Oh, Appalachian's done. Yeah, I've just got to drop off. Unless anything else, unless anything else is ticked over. I followed your lead and borrowed number one earlier on. What, the one I'm in now? Yeah. I was going to do what you were doing now, and then I noticed you were driving it, so I left it. Yeah, I was just doing it while I'm waiting for the AI to drive up to the uh, coal. But she should be stopping any time now. There he goes. Leaving Bryson there. Yeah, I'm on the main line. that one doesn't matter right come back to five Five years started using the phrase I used to when I was a child. <laughs> Obviously, five years old and no longer a child, right? <laughs> Disconnected everywhere again.
Everyone's just chilling out, D22. And also, Screw is not working late. The schedule says he is streaming till 9 p.m. I started late, so I'm working late. Should we go now? Should have a bit. Okay. Okay. Got a five grand loan left. Nice. We're, we're getting there, clearing it off. Our max loan is now 53. When did we at start to read the actual? When you want to know when Paul's streaming? Hmm? Well, you don't have to look at the schedule, but it does help yeah, if you want to know what I'm streaming. <laughs> is Pups allowed to stay? I'm out of everyone that is modding and in this playing this game. I am probably the one that stays up the latest. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's a, a, a wrong thing to say. I only checked the schedule today when you when the stream didn't go live at 11. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. I'm on my way up to Whittier, so I hope no one's there. No, I'm up at the uh, coal area. Okay. Yeah, I'm just... No, go on, you go. I'm going to say, I'm just taking my passenger back carriages and then I'll be on my way to you. I was going to say, there's quite a bit up at Bryson and... And I can't, I forgot how you say that other place, the Autica, whatever it's called, at least come back to the interchange. It should all be a price in there. I don't know, it just says JTC site, so I don't know what that is. Too quick. <laughs> what is oh, new? I'm going too quick. Those wheels are what? screeching. What is new? I think I may have derailed. What gives you that clue, Paul? Um, just a large amount of dust and stuff. <laughs> uh, because they think they're clever. Right, tiny line raw and nerd HP. Quit having to go up, pups, or I will personally kick you out of my chair. You've been warned. There's too much negativity. There's a big difference between having a laugh and just constantly being negative, and you've crossed the line. So back off, or you'll be out of the chat permanently. I think I've rerolled both of them. <laughs> You'll find out when you start moving. <laughs> you see a bit more smoke, Paul. I would suggest stopping immediately. Yeah, but DJ, that's not me that has to relay that balance, does it? That's 
that's what slow runner needs. What? Like where we can like chainsaw bring in... DLC. <laughs> yes, Paul, the chainsaw DLC that you desperately want. I just like in snow runs that I have like you could bring gravel or ballast in to like make the road a bit more firmer when you need to like go through mud constantly. Well, just being able to like change an environment would be very useful in snow runner. Just moving yeah. stones and rocks out the way, cutting trees, you know. Because if they allowed that kind of thing, although it would be probably technically difficult, they would open up so many doors where they could actually create proper roadblocks and say, right, you've got to move that stuff. Yeah. You've got to push those rocks out of the way. You've got to cut those trees down. Like, you've got to make it work yourself. And if any team can do it, it's those guys. Yeah, like a cross between, like, bring some of the consum elements in where you need to bring in an excavator and a bulldozer and just move stuff. It's so cool. Can you imagine consum on the SnowRunner engine? Um, it would be a completely different game. <laughs> That's what I mean. Can you imagine, like, the physics actually being physics? En route to Hemingway. decided when to get this or sim rail hmm that is a choice Ooh. grumpy like they are very different animals no nah, and i think the bugginess from the last time we played snow runner was because we were using mods for the first time like we never had some of those problems till we introduced mods are you talking about these this game in sim rail I thought he was on about when I mentioned SnowRunner. Hey, what game are you on about? <laughs> I don't know. Presume he's talking about SnowRunner and Consim, whereas Grumpy's talking about SimRail and Railroader. I would, even yeah. though this game can be played single player, I would. It's a. I think it's better MP. What is? This game. I think this game's better MP, and personally, I think Consim is better MP. But then I would say SnowRunner's better MP. Yeah. Well, at least for this game. Sorry. It, this the game the, Single. Yeah. Cool. Because so at least with this game, they put AI in to help you out. That's if you're true. Like, we're not really using AI that much. We've got them running logs, and I keep switching them to make it convenient. But if you were single player in this, you could bring a lot more to the AI. I mean, I have a single player save on this. Try harder. It was more of a mess around one because I wanted to just see what the game was capable of. You want an MPD Royal Valley? I see. I would agree if they made the map a lot bigger because in its current size, an MP just wouldn't work. I'm sorry, the map's not very big on D Rail Valley, is it? Not really, no. I mean, some of those locos that you get. Like, the big diesel is really capable, and the map's just not, I don't know. You can climb gradients with it, but you don't feel like you get to stretch its legs properly. Yeah. You paid a fair amount of this game, single player, on a run packs of AI, and the log train, everything else I run myself. I think if I was playing this single player, I'd be using AI and then juggling while it was doing something, I'd be doing something else and just keep doing that. I'd get it to take over a lot of the driving and I'd tend to coordinate.
can you stay at the passing loop at Hemingway? No. Yep. Yeah. Because I will be coming down that way very shortly. I always forget D Ralph Valley's three R as well. Well, that's what it used to only be at one point. Like the dev, Slobberdan, he just loves the VR. He's, he keeps saying to me, oh, you should so play in VR. It's a completely different game. And I'm like, yeah, I just can't be bothered to get all that stuff out, you know? All that VR thing, the headset, plugging in my HDMI. I like, can't be bothered. I just can't watch VR streams. And I kind of find VR tiring. A lot more tiring than just playing a game on a screen. I kind of find it tires me out. Yeah. Oh, a few years ago, Beaker, I think. Uh, I don't know, Grumpy. I don't. We, we've got some upgrades. There's still a lot more to do. Uh, just if case anyone is coming my way, all three lanes at Whittier are blocked currently. I'm coming there right now with a high-speed train. What? No! You're going to crash. Yeah, so just on the AI stopping a station, AI passenger stops. When stations are checked and passenger cars on the train, the AI engineer will perform stops at those stations are counted. What, is that a checkbox on the station or on the train? You know when you set your passengers up and you tell it what stations you're going to? Right. If they're tick and you have AI active, it'll stop at that station for you. Interesting. That has to be a recent change, though. When did they introduce that? I don't know. I just found it. Oh. Because when me and Paul first started playing this game, you had the only way was to put fusees there. Yeah, it was. They wouldn't stop at pack stations. I seem to remember it was in an update a few months ago. A couple of months ago... Couple of months back it was in the game, then someone says back two or three weeks. No, I think it was about two months. Like <laughs> February, I want to say. You still need to fuse them at the end of the run. Yeah, that's fair enough. On my way down to Hemingway. That's fine. Thanks to set for you. Am I keeping left again? Yeah. We got more passages for AJ today. So, what do you think it's growing then? Yeah, I mean, up till now, we've only been taking four or five. I've now got 20 going up there. Mm. Yeah, but nerd, you don't have to stand and walk around with VR. You can, there are plenty of things you can do just sitting down. Like any Fine. kind of VR game where you're in a cabin or a cockpit or something like that, you don't need to be moving around.
If you get sick, then you'll get sick. Like, I, I don't think there's any fix for that, really. Oh, you just have a friend. My head. What? That's the problem I had when I did the, uh, I just got motion sickness too quickly. Totally. Well, was you sat down or trying to move around? Both, really. Mm. I think it's just because your head, your brain's not used to have the inputs that are coming into you. It just made me feel nauseous and I just thought, no, it's not worth it. But that was the very early VR. I mean, it might be better now. Maybe. I think a lot of it is like you need a high frame rate for it to. If you get a slower or a stutter, it will actually just make you feel sick. Yeah, you, you've got to have that like 60 FPS and up to keep it so your brain doesn't feel sick. Well, I, you know, I had a friend who just got motion sick if he played FPS games for more than about an hour. He just started feeling like he wanted to throw up. I felt sorry for him. I'm like, dude, I, <laughs> I couldn't not play FPS games, you know? Is there stuff that stuff at Ella that needs to come back to the interchange? I don't know. I'm just yeah. checking out Bryson. I don't think there was when I did my first pass, but that may have changed. I've just gone up there. There isn't. Yeah, I can't. Sorry, Paul, go on. I was just going to read some of you says I've played a bit of DCS and VR. Easy to land a fly formation, but during some maneuvers, got a bit sick. <laughs> I can imagine. That's DC like like, yeah, because DCS has a very good frame rate and is, I suppose, will be really good in, in VR. I was just going to say, like, I can't watch a stream in VR just because of the micro head movements. Oh, God, it's awful watching VR in, in YouTube or whatever. Awful. Yeah, they, just, they make my stomach turn. There's just no um, stabilization. So it's like a really jittery camera. It's horrible. I can't see anything at Ella that needs taking. Okay. They're all like, yeah, pretty. There'll be a while before they need taking. Yeah, no worries. Main line down at Whittier is now clear. Good night, Mr. Mustang. You never had a problem with C6 just during a storm out at sea. I think you'd probably be all right then, Andy. I think if you don't really get motion sick, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, train crash physics are rubbish compared to d -Row Valley. If you want crash physics, play d -Row Valley. It's single-handedly the best. Explosions and everything. <laughs> I 
Alright, I think we get this kit back to uh, base and call it night. Sounds good. I should have really looked at my speed. I'm going into a side at 30 miles an hour. Let's know how that works out. I've just slammed on every brake again. <laughs> Back a bit, back a bit more. Come on, you gotta put it at the back the though. It's the principle of putting them at the back, isn't it? I was like, what are you looking at? Then I looked over at the stream, I was like, oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you on about? Who do you think I'm talking to? Well, I thought you was on about night or something, and then I looked at the stream, I was like, oh no, you're in supervising me. I think this game would be cool as if the, uh, you know, like when the industry levels up, it actually visibly levels up, like it adds more buildings or whatever, or maybe some more track, longer sidings, whatever. I'll just, I'll be happy with a bigger siding. If you want to laugh, Paul, about sidings, go to the sawmill <laughs> and check out how much of one carriage is in the, uh, the acceptable zone. <laughs> It's like one wheel. <laughs> Whoa. No, I mean, VR is expensive. Those headsets are expensive. Wasn't it like Captain Jack who just bought the Quest one? I think so, yeah. And the Meta, so the Meta Quest 2 or something. Yeah, because Facebook bought Meta uh, Quest, didn't we? Mm. Do you know what I would like to try? I'd never buy one, but the Apple Vision Pro or whatever it's called. Do you know, I, I do wonder about that Apple Vision Pro thing. I'm like, at the moment, I look at that and just think this is a stupid idea from Apple. But the other half of me thinks, am I just missing something here? And in a few years' time, <laughs> I'll be I'll just like an idiot because like they were just ahead of the game. I just don't yeah. know how it's going to go. I think it also depends on... This is never going to be for gaming. Well, that's the thing. I think I can't Apple see where it's going to find itself. Maybe in like graphic design and like interior design so people can put But then why do they need an Apple one? They can just buy a quest or something. I mean two hour was it two hour battery life, that sucks. Yeah, and you have to have a cable. Very early tech, you think it's holodeck. You think it's going down that road? They need to the, the big breakthrough, I think, will come when they reduce the headset size and make it, like, almost like wearing a pair of sunglasses, like that kind of level. Then I can see it being extremely yeah. popular. But wearing a big chunky thing, I can't see that. The amount of stuff that's coming back from Bryson. Well, that's what it's about, though, isn't it? The pass-through augmentation. That's literally what it's aiming at. To the person who mentioned a dump, uh, Commodore computer. My local retro game shop has one of those. Huh? Well, Commodore, what, 64, Vic 20? Yeah, 64. Got one in a loft somewhere. I like going in the retro game shop occasionally. One of the original ones that needs like an RF TV. Yep. Jeez. Hmm. 
We got a Commodore, a Dragon, Spectrum, and an Amiga up there. Vic 20 was rubbish. My friend had a dragon, but like literally nobody else did, so that died a death. <laughs> the Amiga was a fantastic machine. Bot Spectrum, the posh one, the CD. Oh, that was one of the later Spectrums. You had like the ZX, the ZX8081 and the Spectrum. And then it started to go like Quantum and Quantum Plus and Spectrum 128 and all kinds of weird stuff. So it's almost as bad as Intel in the scheme. <laughs> Enjoy your, your uh, beef steak, Chris. Yeah, my friend over the road bought a Vic 20, Biff. But, um, he, he kind of played some games on it, but didn't really know what to do with it. And I started programming his computer because I read the manual. And then he basically stopped me from using his computer because I knew more about it than he did. At which point, the next Christmas I got a Spectrum. And that was that. <laughs> That's how it went. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, he he wasn't the smartest tool in school either, so. It's just an ego thing, I guess. Are you describing me? Well, to be fair to him, like, the idea of me going around to his and then just basically sitting there and programming his computer doing things that he can't isn't exactly appealing for him, is it? So <laughs> the solution to that is just don't invite your friend round to use the computer anymore. Let's go out and play cricket instead. <laughs> yeah, another friend of mine at the B that my first introduction to the BBC Model B was a guy I knew at school who had Elite, and I'd never seen anything like it. And I just wanted a BBC Model B just for that game. And they were in the schools, but to have one at home was rare, but his father was a teacher at the school, so he had one. And the best thing that was ever released on it was Elite. <laughs> We're going to get a timeout in a minute. There he goes. What's that? He's had the driver issue. Oh, Defender was a great game in the arcade. Like, I could never master Defender, but it was a cracking game. Yeah, I never bought the 8286. My first PC was an 8036. Hang on, where's Pups' uh, train? What's he doing? Stopped. Okay. There's only two and five moving. Has he got skill issues again? His uh, mere driver issue that we 
we had last time. Okay, let me save. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's been an NVIDIA update, but I haven't taken it yet. I forgot about that. It is effectively career mode, yeah. You've got to build up the industries. You've got, you've got to serve the industries. You, the way it kind of works is you go via these milestones here. So you've some that are available, and then all of these are not available. And uh, effectively, some of them have, like, multiple phases. So you have to pay some money. It will then deliver 13 cars that you then have to take to the bridge site. Then you've got to wait for some time, usually a day or so, for the supplies that you delivered to be converted into part of the bridge. And then you've got to haul the empty cars back, and you get paid for that. And then you start phase two, and when you complete that mission, it will then unlock, like, a new section of track, which will give you access to more industries. Uh, meanwhile, what you're basically doing is building up your industries uh, if you go to locations here for example um, sawmill we've now built it up to tier 5 whereas the coal station is only tier 1 at the moment so we have to supply it, like take coal from it deliver it, bring back empty cars do that for a few days and then that will allow you to upgrade to tier 2 and when you move up to tier 2 it will generate more coal, more cars which obviously generates you more profit. And so that's the basis of the game um, by developing these industries and increasing the map size. You know, it, it takes time and it's a multiplayer game. There's a lot to do, but you can have the AI drive trains in a very dumb fashion, or you can get friends in and they can drive trains in a dumb fashion. That's your kind of 30,000 foot view. Uh, there's passengers that you move around for reputation, but mostly it's about industry and making money. So like this train now, I can basically say, uh, I want the AI to drive it. And that's it. It will now operate that locomotive. I can go and do something else. And it will stop when it gets to a junction that it is not switched correctly or you can put these little fusies down and it'll stop at them as well. What was that? Oh, it's back. He's in woke. Hello. Welcome back, Pepe. I'm mad. I'm, I'm actually quite... I laughed when it happened. I kind of knew it, my, my game was stuttering. Then my screens went blank and I was like, yep, I know what's coming. <laughs> oh dear. But it did better than it did last week, so I'm impressed. That's true. And my train was stopped when it was happened because I was topping my train up with, with coal and water. <laughs> I just sent Knight a message going, my drivers, screw a ruffle. <laughs> there is an NVIDIA driver update. It might be worth trying yeah. that out. I haven't tried it yet. I'll be the guinea pig. But, you know, it might fix something. Who knows? Stop buying compatibles and upgrade the PC. There's nothing wrong with a PC. The specs on my PC are pretty decent. <laughs>
that I'm parked up at the yard, everything that I need to do is done. Yeah, just bring you back a lot of stuff. Yeah, Passing nice. through Ella. As you're doing that, let me quickly check I threw the switch back up here. No, I didn't. Good job I checked for you. Is like well, thousand dollars left, four thousand, five thousand loan. I reckon we'll get that loan paid off before the next interest payment. Oh yeah. That whole loan cost us eight hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. You can pay a thousand back again now if you want. We could do. Because we don't need the forty-two dollars. Because our engineers only cost us four dollars a day if we don't use them. And that's going to go up in a bit anyway, because Paul delivers this and I do these passengers. Three. Uh, Planet Viewer, thank you for two years. Loan paid down by a thousand. Um, you're not at Whittier yet, are you, Paul? Um, not yet. I'm between Ella and Whittier. Okay, I'm just gonna send the AI up the hill quickly before you arrive. Okay. Was it literally just empty, so I thought I might as well just send it on its way. It wasn't a 5k loan, Dave, it was like a 20k loan. But it was only for a. We paid half of it down after a day. Hundred and fifty six tons. This one, nice. Got a few empties, yeah. Well, like those, those oil tankers on the back. I mean, what's the what's the dry weight? It's been quite a bit. It, it 22 tons, single dome tanker. 22 tons that's without anything in it. <laughs> that's a lot of steel. These hoppers, it says 67 tons, but I don't know if that's the dry weight or the capacity. It's got 48 that's... tons of coal. Can't be 67 tons in weight, surely. Can't be more than the coal. Does it make any sense? Uh, does that say when we buy them? Is that a three or two bay hopper? It's a two bay hopper. Uh, weight empty is 37 tons. Where does 67T come from then? The capacity is 50 tons. I'm guessing it's just. I love how all of them are missing a little bit of coal. So that's on 48.9, that's on 47.7, 47.6. Hmm. I reckon it threw some away when I um, was speedy. Can you Paul, are you okay? I see you are over three hours of your expire time. Are you sick or did Sean Rage quit so hard you are scared to stop the stream? Um, well, we kind of want to finish Valencia at a, a sensible point. So once we got this back, that'll be it. Sometimes you play games that you can't just stop at 8 o'clock or 9 Celebratory bunting. 
Let's show pups some more love, as much I like taking the mickey out of him, he but does a lot for the streams and discord. So let's show him the love he deserves. P.S. Sean didn't pay me to say this. I know he didn't Sploss. pay to say it, Chris, because he talked all over it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's, pu there's Chris going, let's send pups some love. And pups is like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. It's because I have the stream muted, so I don't hear the ding. Mm hmm. Because otherwise, I hear double of you and double of the game. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> it's annoying for one, because it's audio that's out of sync with what I'm doing. But thank you, Chris. Right, have I got space for all these drop-offs down there? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've pushed whatever I had is right down as far as I can take it. So you got either lane you want to choose from, it's up to you. Right, I've set the points ready. Roger. Half water again, blimey. I go up to the cold place and do some work and come back, I'm on half water. Let's watch a pro at work. Run! Run! <laughs> Run away train incoming! <laughs> faster, Paul! Faster! Now the question is, how close can you get it to the other cars, Paul? Hmm. That is a tricky one. Because there's a lot of weight there. Yep. There is indeed a lot of weight here. Train curling, basically. <laughs> More or less. Like a glove. How was that? That was perfect. That was smooth, <laughs> Paul. That was smooth. That was smooth. <laughs> right, we just got Knight coming in now, and he's going to do exactly the same. Well, I would, but I don't have any freight. I was going to say, I don't think he's got anything. Okay. In there. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be wasting for that then. <laughs> just passengers. Right, guys, I think we'll call it there because it's half past nine. Blimey. Where's the time gone? Oh, there's no F1 next weekend, so normal streams.
Normal service resumed. Right. Um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Thank you, Captain Flint. <laughs> uh, thanks to Knight and Pups for playing no with worries. me today. Thank you. What Thank a long you shift. Invite. Thanks all, uh, to the mods as well, especially for the uh, the overtime that we've just done. Uh, I shall be back next weekend for some more fun and games. When does Man Lords come out? 26th. Your birthday, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You remember the name? I did. Oh, my God. I am yeah, impressed. Yeah, but next Paul. weekend, I'll have forgotten. <laughs> it's in short-term memory. <laughs> Bye, right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Thanks very much for uh, all your support as ever. And I shall see you all in a few days' time. I'll try and get some videos up this weekend, this week, before the weekend. Um, but have a cracking week, wherever you're doing. And I shall see you all very soon. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night.